Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. The fuck's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink at this place. Option to be someone else, I would. And let go of you. Mm -hmm. I know that I'm obvious, fuck it, I'm made this way. But why didn't I stay when I had the chance? Maybe it will pass by, someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done in my drink at this pace. I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. When I want it, then I want it, yeah, I want it, oh, I want it, let's go. Look around, where's the people at? I want a taste of the good life, hit me with it right now, I'm in it. Cause when I want it, then I want it, yeah, I want it, oh, I want it, let's go. And I won't look back, yeah, I don't care about the bad shit back home. It's Cincinnati, baby, I just wanna let it go. Nothing matters when we're way out.
Delivered a parcel to a bloke called Matt Card yesterday.
Chato, it's Sundat. Coming up today on Building a Nation with MTK, we made some lovely ground up in the last stream. We find ourselves top of the league. A tiny tactical tweak has maybe taken us to the next level. Will that all go in our favour or will it all go horribly wrong and we have to revert back to normal? That's how things are going today. All that and more coming up today on Building a Nation with Budapest. Damn it! I nearly had it. At the end, it just tailed off. We're dancing. I'm dancing anyway. I don't... Think it's a solid eight and I'm taking it, all right? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let me just turn that down slightly. And boom, 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 boom. Holy shit. FM fan, thank you very much for the prime. Before, actually, let me get back to this. Um, one second, though. Uh, right, so yeah, U Shape Sofa, thank you for the 13 months during the intro there. Lee Thompson, thank you for the follow. Toffee Yogi, thank you for the 12. Castro, of course, thank you for the 13. And then, yes, thank you so much for the prime, FM fan. All the way from Canada, home of Putin and definite other things too. I'll be honest, I don't know that much about Canada. I'm a level with you. You can enlighten us today. Oh, a Hulk yoga. Hmm, okay, let me just... A, a very early Hulk yoga. I do love what it does to this jumper. I really do. I feel like Sassuolo should play in blue more often, honestly. Particularly as their badge looks pretty sick in blue, honestly. I'm a fan. Revert back to okay. It's what I do. I'm here to be okay. Two minus two in Holland. Shit. That's cold. That's fucking cold. The, the weather with Matt is fucking cold. <laughs> and that's going to take us to... Okay. This is a new development. Um... <laughs> that, that was a different development I've not experienced thus far. But I guess we take that. Um... <laughs> It's a new thing Good that's morning. broken. Imagine. Jason, thank you so much for the eight months, my friend. I hope you're having a lovely Sundat morning. Well, oh, minus five in Norway. That sounds a bit more. Watching the game today? Probably. Yeah. No, not even probably. I'm going to, let's be honest. Um, But I'm not going to enjoy it. I'm going to watch it like this. Sorry. Grrr. And like that. Like, that's how I'm going to watch the game like it. Begrudgingly. <laughs> Next to me telling us 40 is hot. God, do you remember when it was like 40 degrees? Do you remember that time? Well, you probably do because you're Australian and it's probably 40 degrees every day. Not Actually, right now it's probably bloody hot, isn't it? With your big Australian winter summer or something. <laughs> hey, Coconut Stripe. Hello, Sans, how's it going? So, like 10,000 people now really like your skin. <laughs> how's that going for you? <laughs> On the admin side of things. Snowing in Hamburg. Ooh. Yeah, it's just boring here. Just grey, dull shit. England. November. I hate November. I really... Once it's December and the weather's the same, I'm like, it's fine because Christmassy. But this kind of weather in November, I'm just like, nope, don't like it. It's like Jan January's worse. January is the worst. I think January might be the worst month in the UK. Because, yeah, I can't think of a month I hate more than January, honestly. I think that's definitely my least favourite month. If I was doing a tier list of months, January would be fully F tier for that. It's just the worst. A warm and balmy two degrees. I'm surprised you're not outside sunbathing at that point. <laughs> one nil today. I take it we've all seen the tweet. They almost can't win one nil now, can they? Because of that. 
Yeah, I saw the three feet. Wasn't it like 70 inches of snow that they got in Buffalo? That's mad. I saw a lot of TikToks of people just opening their back door to let their dogs out. And it's like, no snow. Two hours later, opening the back door and the dog's like buried in the snow. Mental. You got a year older during every year. I suppose you got your January birthdays, I guess. It's just... It's after Christmas, so you've not got the fun vibes of the Christmas era. It's after New Year, so you've, again, not got that sort of vibe. It's a long time until there's anything, like, tangible. Um, that's why January for me is just a... Is a problem month, I'll be honest. Johnny Trotter, thank you so much for the gifted sub. That's very, very kind of you, my friend. Thank you so much. When one on the goal comes in the second. That's the thing. It's beautiful. Like, they've laid the groundwork here because it's, it's a wonderful situation because they literally cannot win the game 1-0 now because it would be so... Even if nothing suspicious is going on, they cannot win that game 1-0. <laughs> it's Champions League final. Nice. Oh, that sucks. Well, hopefully we can do this some justice for you then. That, that absolutely sucks. It's weird how many people have had, like, save issues where they've lost saves through corruption or... I suppose this is an HDD issue, but still, I've... T touch wood touching all the goddamn wood available has not happened to me thus far yet February is the worst because valentine's i feel like valentine's is one of those things do people care that much about valentine's anymore at all maybe it's a bigger thing in other nations but like i don't know maybe it's just because pog's great and we just don't care about that like this is pog and i's valentine's it's usually it's a weekday because statistically it's likely pog will come home from work and be like matt so which pizza place are we ordering from? We're going to sit in bed and watch some kind of romantic comedy and eat pizza. That is Valentine's Day for Pog and I. <laughs> oh, my days. Castro with the thousand bits. For the VODs. For the... I, I, you owe me nothing for the VODs. I'm, thank you so much, though. That's super kind of you. I've been uploading them manually again because Twitch has been getting them stuck in Twi uh, 360p and some shit. Potentially bribing everyone is not really up Here's there. A fun uh, fact. Well, can I feel like sports corruption is quite important still. Um, food you. Thank you for the follow. Hey, Dartos. I did remove purpose of stupid. It's not a bad shout, actually, just in case. Because you can just bench them, can't you? Oh, by the way, we do have a World Cup Fantasy League. Um, I think I've just got my auto-picked team in there at the moment, but it does exist. Let me dig out the link for you in case you're a fan of such things. Uh, where the hell did I put it? Have we got a fantasy section on the Discord? We do, don't we? I'm sure I definitely put it in there because I'm a smart boy. <gasps> I did! Apparently, I am a smart boy. This just in. There you go. There's the automatic uh, link. You should be able to just join it straight through that if you're logged in. Oh, dear. And if you're single, I suppose. But I feel like if you're single, you wouldn't care about it. And if you're in a good kind of... Um, true as large as I suppose. Well, okay, of course. Yes, but... I feel like more than one thing can be bad at the same... This is the argument that comes up every fucking time. Yes, that's obviously awful, but other things can be bad in addition to that it's like because something bad in the world happens nothing else bad is allowed to be discussed i just i hate that kind of attitude towards things and i feel like if we can move past that maybe we can actually start acknowledging things slowly but surely i just you need to be able to be like this is bad this is also bad they may not be the same level of bad but they're still both bad you know are we still talking about valentine's we are yes <laughs> how did you know Ooh. It's still bad. Exactly, Rob. Exactly. It's just a difference in bad. Of course it's a difference in bad, but <laughs> that's just such like... So because another thing is worse, you can't talk about a thing that is still bad. It seems asinine to have that argument because that means that you then wouldn't be able to talk about anything other than the worst event in human history. That seems silly. Um, like, we can still acknowledge things. Besides, we weren't talking about that. We were talking about, in this specific scenario, sporting corruption. That's just what the scenario was that we happened to be discussing in this occasion. It's like every time I listen to a sports podcast lately, they spend the first fucking 10 minutes going on about the human rights. And that's understandable, but it's like at some point we have to understand. You have to be like, okay, we get it. That's horrible. But can you just for a second talk about football? Just, I know it's bad, but can you do your job for a bit? Like it's, there has to be a point where obviously that stuff sucks. And maybe we should be looking at FIFA. But the fact is, I hope this World Cup is a massive embarrassment in the worst possible way. Like, <laughs> the worst event in human history, Valentine's Day. <laughs> True. So, unless we're talking about Valentine's Day, nothing else is valid. <laughs> That's my point. But, like, what was I going to say? Yeah, so I hope it's a massive embarrassment. I hope it's like the fire Festival of World Cups. I really do. <laughs> you know, it's... 
everything that can be cringe about this World Cup, I hope it is. I hope it's an absolute embarrassment. But yeah, okay, it's not ready. But I hope it gets... Nothing's happened yet. That's what I mean. I hope everything that can possibly go wrong does go wrong. Like, the fake fans stuff is just an absolute... That alone is just kind of cringe, but it's also, like, a bit weird. It reminds me of, you know, in North Korea, you see those, like, propaganda videos where uh, they'll have them all using computers and be like, ah, yes, everyone here has access to the internet. It kind of reminds me of that slightly. Um, just to clarify, I'm not saying that fake fans is the same as North Korea having, you know, the situation in North Korea. Just so I should point that out. <laughs> Do you know what, right? I almost kind of respect it, in a way. If they, like, fully bribed and cheated their way and won the entire thing. I'd almost kind of respect that level of brazenness, you know? I'm not... Honestly, I'm just not that excited about it yet. At all, honestly. You know? I'm just not that arsed at the moment. Um, Johnny Trotter with the gift is up again. Thank you so much, Johnny. That's so kind of you, my friend. Holy shit. It's... It would... Oh, it'd be so amusing. Because, like, what would they do? That means they can do the rainbows all they like, but if they truly cared, they wouldn't show up, would they? Like they would not be at the tournament. It's like it's it's virtue signaling, isn't it? It's like we're here, we're wearing rainbows. Cool. If you cared that much to the point where you actually want to put your convictions ahead of things like that, then you wouldn't be at the tournament at all. Now, obviously, that's a completely different discussion entirely. But you know, it's easy for people like Norway to boycott it when they're not at the World Cup, isn't it? Um, but yeah, and somehow, despite me literally making that point about how we don't, that's all we've been doing so far. <laughs> They put an asterisk next to it. Yeah, they kind of would, wouldn't they? The alcohol is banned. Yeah, it's... That thing's kind of hilarious as well. Budweiser spending, what was it, $75 million to sponsor it and then being like, actually, nah, don't fancy it. Oh, dear. Just to do an entire stream with just the disclaimer. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we don't know how true that thing was but the guy that tweeted that wasn't exactly some like no name was he so that's certainly fascinating there's just no way they can win that game one nil like legitimately if they're like one nil up going into the final stages they're gonna be like bombing forward desperately trying to get that second goal to make it not look bad do you reckon they'll go balls out in the first half to try to really score a first half goal to try and put that bit to bed red hair and freckles corner infantino <laughs> yeah it's What's the air conditioning situation like in the stadiums? Because I remember that was being one of the big problems. And I still don't understand how they've managed to do that. Big enough stadium. Oh, Norway would be a fun World Cup, though, wouldn't it? Like, if FM's anything to go by, they'd just build, like, six stadiums on Tromsø and everything would be fine. <laughs> That's just how this works, right? <laughs> so I'm told. <clears throat> Small air conditioning. Oh, under this is each where I seat. my car. So essentially, the back of your legs are going to get real chilly. <laughs> is that what we're saying here? Mini Marshall, thank you for the follow. <clears throat> Blow down the seat below. Oh, I see. Wait. How does that work? What, on like the tier below? Too far. I'll be honest. I've not looked into it too deeply. I've already set the team up. Let's get cracking. I'm excited with the changes we made in the final game of the last stream. Hey, Mini Marshall. Everyone can pick a side and have a laugh. <laughs> Honestly, I hope Ecuador absolutely twat them. It's, it actually is a bit of a shame that they're playing someone. I don't know if Ecuador have the... Ecuador have got some quality players, of course, but it's a shame they're not playing someone who's, like, an objective, like, world power in football that could potentially, like, roll them over handedly. That would be quite funny. Although, if Ecuador did that, that would be also quite funny. 28,000 isn't bad, but you're right. That, if that's the biggest stadium, that would probably be a bit of an issue, wouldn't it? So it's like, Annoy wouldn't need to ban alcohol. It's just the price of it that is the problem. Like, I did not drink a single drop of alcohol while I was in Norway because I looked at the prices and then went, yeah, no, I thought, what the fuck? Uh, how do I pause? I've actually, uh, j sorry, that just fried my, I, I forgot how to pause the game. That face when Ten gifted, what the fuck? You know, if you were going to be real petty there, Johnny, you should have gifted 31 and excluded Qatar. <laughs> I'll refund one. <laughs> Holy God. That could that could buy me a whole pint in Norway. 
Johnny, um, I don't know what to say. That so um, hang on, firstly presents, obviously. Um I was about to ask if you actually meant to do that twice, but then with the 32 thing, I'm assuming that is on purpose. God damn. Um it's £12.50 for a pint in Qatar. Jesus Christ, that's like that's like a hockey stadium price. Turbo shoes as well. Thank you for the 18 months. Bugger me in the face. Live on a Sunday. Well, isn't this confusing? Hope you're well and enjoying FM23. We'll sit and do my usual lurk while I play. We love the lurkers right here. I actually am enjoying the game at the moment. No, I mean, <laughs> the one minute, 15 seconds that we've played, I've had a bloody fantastic time, I'll tell you. Uh, I'm just recovering. Uh, Johnny, seriously, that's if you have just been gifted a sub by Johnny there, please thank him, um, as I am, because that is so, so generous of you and far more than I deserve. But, you know, that that's extremely nice of you, my friend. So thank you so much. Um, I hope you're having a lovely day. Mm. Okay, maybe not a whole pint in Norway. Like maybe like a half, maybe a shandy or something. We hate. We, <laughs> we do not hate lurkers. Lurkers are the best. They're better than you, Rob. Better than you. Can it buy a pint in Qatar? Of course not. <laughs> That'd be silly. <laughs> well, that. Did I just? Don't tell me. I hang on. Sorry, chat. I'm just gonna have to call up my buddy here. Tarski. There we go. Oh, you. <laughs> no what have i done no not like this tasky come on you can do it you got this i believe there we go i believe in task manager and he's done it for us task manager to the rescue as sissoko is already through here now it's a dodgy penalty <laughs> name a more iconic duo than this save and dodgy pens because i can't think of what this is about to be hopefully bognar's 10th goal of the season I do love that celebration as well. Literally kneeling down on the penalty spot. You get Bud Zero. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh my days. Neutral Normie with the five gifted as well. What is going on? Thank you so much. Can I do presents here as well without breaking it? I can. Why did it break it before then? We'll never know. Uh, that's so kind. Thank you. Streams and freezes. Why'd you go to attack me like that, Leaf? Eh? Why'd you go to attack me? Yes, yeah, sorry, I did, Saz. I um, I have a habit of reading Discord messages on my phone, and then when I get to my PC and I can actually respond, oh, yeah, uh, forgetting to do so as Bognar's through yeah, again. Holy shit! Um, and let me just quickly catch up on what you actually said. I definitely did read it because it's not um, listed there. Oh, that's nice of you, man. Uh, one thing I was tempted to do. Oh, I frozen. Brilliant. J Leaf has fucking called it there, hasn't he? <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> Screw Matstradamus. We've got Leafstradamus up in here. Oh, God. <laughs> Ask her for next week's lottery numbers while you're at it. Uh, right. <laughs> One second. Where am I? Sorted. <laughs> that was very deep thoughts there. Trent, thank you for the follow. And Sharp VR, thank you for the 13 months. <laughs> yeah, should I just be like... No, wait. What is it? Is it... Who was the guy? Was it Aristotle or Plato? The dude that did the whole, like, chin thing. The chin thing. The chin thing. You know what I mean. <laughs> Ragnar with the 14 as well. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. So, new to go on streamy eganji. Exact nadi thes pin you at hoffa hik eki thana isha. Okay, okay, okay. Sunday and a stream going on. I missed the Saturday stream a little bit. Yeah, you are that and a gulant scale of both. GG's. GG's. It's, it's just true. <laughs> I agree with everything you said. Unless... No, no, fuck it. I'm taking a risk. I agree. Oh, hello. Palaszczuk's in behind. Oh, my God. Chat, we've built something here. This team is actually popping at the moment. No, like, no joke. This team is actually destroying things at the moment. I had the translation after. Oh! Don't blame me because I'm a moron. Like, don't blame me because I'm a moron. Palo Eduardo. Palo, if you see this in the VOD... Let me know somehow. <laughs> yes, what I was going to say, Saz, before I stumbled over my own words, got confused, and then froze my camera, is that I was thinking about maybe making a section in the Discord server for the skin to give you a way to maybe help people with tech support stuff with it a little bit easier than having to reply to YouTube comments if you don't have any setup like that yourself, is what I mean. Obviously, if you have plans to do something like that yourself, then obviously tell me to shut up. But if you would like a section in the server to maybe do that, then I can facilitate that for you. Because um, I know we've getting a lot of questions about it, obviously, since the video came out. Um, we're playing some genuinely ridiculously nice football at the moment. Can we just discuss this? Holy shit, Sissoko's through. Oh my god. That one tactical tweak we made 
in the last stream has made this tactic into an absolute dream. Some of the football we're playing is ridiculous, and it's a ball in and it's cleared. And Castro with a thousand bits again. World Cup hero on FIFA. Nice. That's a good thing, right? You haven't like accidentally packed um, Josh Brolin of movies that Josh Brolin was in. I'm trying to think. The American remake of Old Boy, Men in Black. These are some Fiona! films that Josh Brolin has been in. Have you packed Josh Brolin? Is my question. I have to. I have to know. <laughs> M sent me a thing yesterday to do with Gideon, and I can't remember what it was, but it was something to do with a, a crazy goose or something. K Hawk, thank you for the follow. A half a million cut. Shit in hell. That's quite a lot in the current FIFA economy, is it not? Absolutely says. Okay, what I'll do. Oh, fuck. What I'll do is after stream, I'll make a section specifically for the skin in the SYC channels so that people can discuss stuff in there um, because I know how a pain in the ass YouTube is. I think what it is, Saz, is because you're not the channel admin on YouTube, they think it's spam for some reason. And sometimes it doesn't even go into my filter. Every time I've looked in the filter and approved everything I can. But when I go back, um, you can tell, of course you can, Maris. But uh, you'd be wrong. You'd be wrong. Hmm. I wasn't expecting the video to do that well. I, I wanted to put a video out on about it just because a lot of people, so many people had asked about the skin that I felt it was almost silly not to make a video about it because I feel like it was something people would really like. And given that it wasn't on any of the major websites or anything, people might not have known about it. Like, <laughs> no shit. I've had like several content creators DM me being like, I was kind of good on my skin and then I saw that. <laughs> so that's, that's awesome. <clears throat> oh, I'm knocking things over. No, nah, it's, it's legit. I was finding things in it that I didn't even know were there when I went through because I, I literally sat there and made like four pages of notes about all the things I liked and then was finding things that I didn't even know existed in it it's fantastic hey cool man I, I genuinely think it's the best I've ever used it just does things it's so good and I kind of like how in the comments to the video people are finding different things that they like about it and that's why I, the thing I really like is because it can suit multiple types of play style um, speaking of play style what is Booty doing out on the left wing I'm fine that he's there. I'm just a bit confused as to why. Oh, God. Square it for Panache. Oh, my goodness me. It's 3-0 at halftime. Panache's bagged another one. This, I tell you, we've absolutely latched onto something ridiculous with this. One tweak, which was the, what was it? Dribble less. It was literally the dribble less often. Has absolutely revolutionized this skin. I'm blown away by this. Dean, with that 28 months. Chocolate. I Not thought quite. you had a player called Pano Chocolate. I love that you've just booted up Elite Dangerous and then been like, you know what? Time to drop a Reese up. <laughs> Knocked out of top division side of 100. Oh, wow. Yeah, those of you that are playing alongside this save, how has your progress been first season? Holy shit. To be fair, your record, I would say, is almost identical to mine. Although I think you've actually won more games than we have because I think we've dropped points in draws. Yeah, we've drawn a couple of games. Bring on! Oh, the voice has changed. Yes, it has. We've got an Australian now. Yeah, there was a bit of FIFA, but that's why you press them so hard. It has to be done. JS19, thank you for the follow. One thing that I found kind of weird, actually. I had a look at some of the statistics. You know how often we win the ball back in good areas. We have one of the lowest possession recovery statistics in the league. Which is mad when you think about it. Also, is the click-up chances thing still broken? Or are we actually, is it more workable this year? Either way, Regan Booty smashing it yet again. Hey, Hank Manovich. Welcome to the skin you're using. Yes. Oh, nice. Okay, so, Heck man, it's, it's funny you actually... I don't know if you were in chat like two or three minutes ago. We were literally just discussing how many people had loved the skin. And... <laughs> and you've just come in and provided exact proof for Saz. Not that he needed it. Um, exactly what I was talking about. Um, what was your favorite thing about it? I'm curious. I am here to stroke Saz's ego. <laughs> but thank you. Found a good Mozambican. Oh, is it Mozambican or is it Mozambican? I've actually never... What is the demonym for Mozambique? Also, are, all, are they not winning? <gasps> Spartacus are losing. This is good news. We this is our best performance of the entire season. Mozambique. Is it? It can't be. It I almost just about believe you and I'm like that doesn't feel right <laughs> but it's not so wrong that it feels like it is Mozambican you searched it for the message I rate that doing your research respect that 
Uh, right. What have we got? Do I take Panache off on a hat trick? You know what? We're three up. Might as well give Petroso a run. He's not going to get football anywhere else. Booty's a bit tired, so we'll get Meze in. And screw it, we'll get the stud on as well. Because, well, you know, you got to get your studs in. And maybe Varju. There we go. Wrestle that around a little bit. Last of the post. <laughs> it's Tracy. Well, 6 0. We can pretend the work. Yeah, of course we can. I'd love the work. I mean, to be fair, I don't know what the situation's like in Mozambique, but it can't be any worse, can it? Or maybe it can. Eritrea would certainly be. Ooh. It's lit up by Mozambicans. The Mozambicans are lit. What are the League Cup. Wow. So what I would say is in a lot of my simulation tests, they did tend to do very well in the Cup second season, oddly, after promotion. I think, because obviously I was doing a lot of test sims and stuff, I think they actually won the Cup three times in like five years. Riku Booty's agent, I wish I was. He'd be at a way bigger club. That's a bad miss. More conflict when we play. Yeah, well, yeah. So without lifting a finger. There you go. That, to be honest, that's my favorite thing as well. Oh God, this is a penalty, isn't it? No. Wait, there's still a chance. We also um, are one of the worst teams in this league for defensive, uh, sorry, for aerial duels. Oh, that's a good goal. With six minutes to go, we should be okay. Our goalkeepers don't save a lot. Uh, Roof has one of the lowest, I think his save percentage is actually below 50% <laughs> because our keepers just don't save anything at the moment. Even when it's almost right at them. Was that the first shot on target of the game? <laughs> it's always the first shot on target. Oh dear, luckily we've got nearly 4 XG, so we're kind of sitting pretty right now. Yeah, Nawusu is... Oh, we need him so bad. They did have a second shot on target, but goddamn. you think he would, wouldn't he? But both him and Samodi have been woeful for this team. I mean, you saw some of the mistakes they made in that early game, but that was some performance. 3.94. Bear in mind, our last two games, we've, we've won 6-2 in the last game. And... Yeah, I mean, the thing is, Norway just don't have the infrastructure football-wise, do they? The stadiums, they'd be too small. Did Ah, and Sparta lost. We're four points clear at the top and seven clear of um, Diosuri. This is awesome. Hello, Inferno. Non-canon World Cup. Does that mean we can make up our own version? Chat, if you could... Uh, all right, this would be super fun. <laughs> oh, fuck off. I, I was not far off of just putting a suit jacket on to show my mourning. I feel like I should be wearing black. Bear with. Just this... Suit you, boy. <laughs> it's fine. I can just not move my arms. <laughs> it, this is fine. It looks a bit tight. No, mate. It's just my bulging muscles. <laughs> Pogs are not going to like this because I think I'm stretching it. How am I going to take this off? Inferno. Oh, no. Be a bread gifting the sub to Inferno. I, hang on. Can I reach the button? Yes, I can. Does it say T-Birds on the back? Oh, God, hang on a bit. I don't want to stretch this. Is this your gimp suit? It's part of it, all right? I can't get it off. Right. Oh, Jesus. Pog's going to hate that. It was the first black thing I saw, all right? Oh, Jesus Christ. <sighs> That's how Bokno has to move. No, no, he's got like the leather pants version of that coconut. <laughs> Instead of wearing a cast, he's got like leather trousers on. Can you, I literally couldn't have reached the mouse. If I could, I would have had to bend my entire body. So like, like an upper body cast, it felt like. You're doing MTK save. That's sick. A lot of people in chat are as well, but um, that's kind of curious. How far have you got so far, Hots? Um, right, actually, one thing I will do right now, because I'm being proactive. Look at me being proactive, chat. I'm going to make that channel now. <clears throat> oh, fuck. What have I done? What have I fucking done? Right. Um, text channel. Saz23. 
Boom. And... There Granny, you go. I got the job. What a shit way to find out my sub had expired. R.I.P. Bogner. Up the bodies. So much confusion, but I'm glad you're here, Paolo, because Leaf just signed a player called Paolo Eduardo. Thank you so much, though, for the 15 months. And ICX with the 22 on top. Iker in our division, yeah. Or Aker. I'm not sure on the pronunciations. UCL, six. hell yeah. That's insane. Fair play. So yeah, I've just made a, um, a Saz, the skin section in the Discord. Pushkas, I actually won the league with... So, weird story. Um, actually, one Morning, second. Matt. Dan with the 28 Let's months. Holy game. shit. You oh, have God. to make the following facial expressions. The face you made when Garnacho scored. The face you made when you almost dropped the wedding rings. The face you make when someone tells you what to do on YouTube. And finally, smiley face. If you're making a collage, I swear to God. <laughs> also, I didn't drop the wedding rings. They got stuck in my pocket. It's very different. <laughs> so what I was going to say, Logophile, is I did a pushcast save briefly on FM20 on stream. And... It culminated with me being forced to sing Enrique Iglesias covers on stream. Shared without context. <laughs> it's all I can say. I realize I must have missed a lot of chat messages in there. Bear with me. I couldn't reach the screen. All right. Bogner should be fine. <laughs> to be fair, Fi's freeze is a bit of a hard ass now, isn't he? Um. So let's see. Four to five months. Well, it has to be four to five months, right? We'll pay the 4K. It's Bogner. Oh, that's so annoying. Man has got 10 goals in 12 league games. Play through his injury. <laughs> Just give him injections. His bravery's dropped. I wonder how much. Three. It could be worse, to be fair. Well, not much, but... Oh. That's that's almost like a career end. I'm going to talk to him. Have a little chat. I wouldn't say it was... Like, United had a lot of chances in that game on the balance of things. It's just in the second half. It was mad. <clears throat> Stuck in your pocket like how you got stuck in that jacket. Literally, yes. I showed you. It's been a while, chat, but I did show you a collage of pictures of me trying to get the wedding rings out of my pocket and steadily getting more and more embarrassed about the situation because my sister was the photographer. So she naturally was like, I'm going to embarrass this fool. <laughs> Receive what? True. That's true. Send him to the glue factory, I guess. Um. I okay, yeah. I'll I never promised them they're going to play again just in case... Like, he gets, like, MRSA or something, and then we've got all sorts of issues. 11 unbeaten, though. That's a real issue, because I think we're a bit... Look at me. Ready? Squad planner. Going in to use this feature. This would be an opportunity, though, for Nemeth to come back into the team, but in the center of the pitch. And actually, having a player with that kind of finishing and composure, playing in the middle of our... What's his passing like? His passing and vision aren't bad either. I think he might actually do an okay job in there. What's that? He's like old Yeller. We just take him around the back and shoot him. Uh, oh, we get two weeks off. Even better. Little rest period. <laughs> That's one less week that we won't have Bognar. Uh, which I guess is something, right? Right, where's Fot? Where you at, lads? Right, Fot, pe Fot fetish coming up. To be fair, Nemeth does need some game time. He'll start complaining otherwise. <clears throat> Do you measure how big a country is in miles or kilometers? Um... Generally speaking, I think in UK parlance, it would be like square miles is usually what they would use for measurements of areas. Distances like that, anyway. <clears throat> uh, yep, right, okay, cool. So the fault fetish is... We're ready. We're ready to go. Spoiler for a 70-year-old movie. <laughs> did you know how old the movie was, or Husby, or did you actually have to look that up for that joke? <laughs> Every distance should be measured in football pitches. True. What was I watching that... Everything they measured was in football pitches. I can't remember. The other day, I was watching some documentary, and everything they said was always measured in football pitches. Um, that's a shame. He was just starting to turn it around. Why is hot? Does it just... Right, so a friend of mine once got something called Bell's Palsy. And... Don't know what the situation with this chap is, but the side of his face reminds me a little bit of how my friend Aaron looked when he had Bell's Palsy where the whole side of his face was paralyzed and it was like drooping and he could only talk out of one side of his mouth. Uh, so maybe he'd had a stroke. He could have had a stroke actually, potentially. Maybe that's just the way he looks. I'm sorry, Peter. Also, how are they getting on in the league? I swear they were turning it around. Uh, let me have a look. Oh, nope, still bottom. Looks like he might have had a stroke, yeah. 
Potentially. I'm just risking a lot on that, but like, it does look slightly like he might have done. Uh, let's see. That asked how big it was in football pitches. It's a standard unit measurement. Exactly. It's like measuring horses in hands. What was it we were using to measure things on the last stream? Uh, there was a weird measurement we were using. Was it booties back? No, that sounds much worse. It was... I've literally forgotten. Looks like he hits you on the shabby bar. True. He's that guy at the end of the bar. Do you know what? He's a bit... Just... Sorry, Pog and I have been watching Shameless, and now I'm just getting Frank Gallagher vibes from everybody. <laughs> Distance in time. How far do Wembley bet an eight-hour drive? That... That's fair enough, actually, for, like... I totally get that. In, like... To measure distance for travel? That's a good point, actually. Yeah. When it comes to travel, I would never say, hey, look, it's 200 miles. Because if you're talking to someone who doesn't drive, that means fucking nothing to them because they don't understand average, like how long that's actually going to be. So you just tell them, in try you tell them in time, don't you? But if you're talking about area, then it's usually like square miles, isn't it? Imagine all those big, relative big stadiums in a small country. Oh, interesting. I love how you set this up, Thomas. How big is... Oh, no way. Okay, I want an explanation as to how these stadiums are so big firstly but i'm guessing a building a nation type of save so san marino is 23 square miles i feel a bit sorry for montecino here these are all individual stadiums also thomas van munster is a great name by the way 2058 holy shit how far have you got i'm really curious now but which is a different size i guess so that's a good point too actually yeah maybe they use like Wembley as like a but Wembley's quite a big pitch though isn't it as football goes oh thank you McCallion how's it going friend welcome in discussion on time space continuum don't even get me started bruv <laughs> the American recent one not quite the same as the original I, that's what we're actually watching Turbo I, I'm absolutely loving it genuinely I'm loving it as a show it's I don't know what it is about it but I'm just really enjoying it um obviously we're only like a few episodes into the first season but I'm loving what I'm seeing so far the cast is just extremely good. Annexed part of Italy. They've got big dreams. Let them live, right? It, yeah, San Marino Challenge was like full-on old-school FM, wasn't it? I wonder how much space these would actually take up. Most of the country is now football stadiums. <laughs> I think we can all agree that majority of the country is now football stadiums. That's true. We did end up... Well, I think the Limerick one's fair enough, but the one in... The Tromsø one is the worst one for me, where we ended up building three 60k-plus stadiums, I believe, on a tiny island. <laughs> Macalia with a 19... 19? With a 15 months. I've got ahead of myself there. XMTK striker with insane potential. I ah, no worries, Hots. I don't really do... Like, backseating isn't really a thing for me because I always feel like this is... A, I just need to search for you. That's... <laughs> Also, I know I've got a look up to do in a second as well. So I, I do apologize. I've been slow to the uptake on that one. Um, honestly, like with back seating being... Uh, is this guy here? Zalan Vanksha. Ah, it's annoying. He's a... Lommel. He's not the sort of player I can bring back straight away. Um, but I'm guessing he's only just joined... No, he's been there for a while. I don't think I'm going to be able to bring him in yet. But that finishing is pretty solid. It's not the slowest either. We're effective scouting, precisely. Yeah, ex exactly that. Um, to be fair, the only time that I think backseating has ever been an issue with streams is during m major finals where we're playing on full match. But other than that, yeah, it's fine. Hey, James, how's it going? Stacked beside it. Last year or something. Ah, that sucks. Like, he's a good player, though. I don't know what potential's like. Uh, we have no scouts available at the moment anyway, but... Right, let me get to my other lookup while we're here, because I know we had one. And that was Victor Jensen. Sorry, sorry about that, Greenman. Why does my tablet just burst into life? Go away. Power intensive app found. Oh, no. Anyway. Uh, that's wrong, Jensen. There we go. Uh, Roger Wall. Ooh. You know I like me a bit of Norwegians. Although he's Danish. So, he's on loan from presumably Ajax. Yep. <laughs> it's always Ajax. Oh, that's a dreadful rating in the league. But, wait, he's a DM with four... Ta he, oh, he's not really a DM, is he? He's sort of creative midfielder, I'm guessing. Found a one to Yeah, I suppose. Sign you're driving a big car. It's very true. I am... Um, <laughs> do you know what? The most cramped I've ever been in a car. Coming up. <laughs> so, when I was in London at SI a couple of... Uh, last month, we were lazy bastards on the second day and didn't want to walk from the centre of town 
out to the offices. So we decided to get an Uber. But so Breezy orders an Uber XL. And <laughs> I'll be honest, XL was pushing. The XL was doing a lot of heavy lifting in that sentence. Um, It was not a very large car. It was one of those cars where it's like a, a normal sort of five seater car. But then the boot also has two converted seats that you can pull up. But they're like stools, basically. So somehow we managed to force myself and Alice into the boot of this car to the point where neither of us could put a seatbelt on without the other person having to like do it for us. <laughs> I couldn't get out of the car when we got to the office. Why did I decide to go in the back? <laughs> I should have made RDF go in the back, but yeah, it just, yeah. What the proper clown car? Oh, it looked like a clown car when we got out of it. Jesus. Like normal people get out and there's just me stuck in the boots. <laughs> it was full on clown car material. Holy shit. Harold. There's going to be tons of Harolds. Pulisic is the guy with the Roy Galvin poster, of course. So any actual Harolds? It's probably quite... I feel like Harold is quite a popular name in like South America, potentially. Or maybe even in Africa, actually. As it goes. Let's sort by nation. That's way better. Any fun ones? Anyone has actually got Joshua Joel, and that's not Harold. It's just like a backdoor way of getting me to play Harold Bishop Ultras, because if it is, it's not working. And we're in October. <laughs> but what a time it was, Norden. We didn't lose a single league game on stream last year, uh, last on Thursday. And that has continued today. Our last two matches have been 6 2 and 3 1 with like 4 XG. What was the XG for this game? Yeah, we've had back-to-back -back matches of three or more XG. And these guys were uh, third in the league. We've actually hit on something here. I'm kind of excited about how much we can get through today because I want the youth and take preview. Because apparently they're actually accurate this year. Let's fucking... I'm going to search for Harold Bishop. I ain't dicking about. Let's go for a proper one. Let's go balls deep. We can't find a Harold. But that does mean you get your points back, Castro. So it's, it's a bit of both. Tengstead. Pardon me. And there he is. Oh, another Rosenborg. Of the Rosenborg Chappie. A postal mu went to hang on. I went to the on the postal museum train in London last week. Had literally Speaking of museums, right? Um so I was on the way to look at a house one time a couple of weeks ago uh, not weeks ago, like last year in fact. And it, I knew it was there because I'd um driven past it as a kid. There's a drainage museum. <laughs> a museum of drainage. Had a service at a half last night for aggression. That's not allowed. He would never get in my team. Unless he's like six foot 11, then I'll consider it. On a good day. Roswell, is he really? Oh, I think I watched a video about him a little while ago, actually. Oh, no, that might have been the guy that's at Atalanta now, actually. Because there's a, a Scandi guy at Atlanta, isn't there? Or he was. I think he is still at Atalanta. For every building a nation country, honestly, I think your best bet might be Poland. If you want a middle ground nation that has got some decent... Is it Hjubjörg? Yes, it's Hjurland. Yeah. Not Hjubjörg, yeah. That's the guy. I would say... There's Mela, of, uh, sorry, yeah. I was thinking more of um Hjurland. But I, I always get I always struggle with the J's after the U. Uh. Yeah, Hjubjörg is Spurs. It just sounds like I'm like taking the piss. I'm like, hee... Tycoon Takeovers. Uh, Tycoon Takeovers. The only way I've noticed Tycoon Takeovers is to actually go through and go to Landmarks and then do it like that. So you literally go to here, go to Finances, and then you just like scroll through. That's the only way I've noticed to be able to find them in the past. He's been really good. For, like, he's just one of those players that's just a solid player. But we'll have a look at Pick him up for 50k. Now, unfortunately, we don't have 50k, but... But damn, he's solid. 21. That kind of wage is just way beyond what we can afford at the moment, obviously. But you're further ahead than I am. Uh, it's good to know that you can afford those kind of wages, though. Oh, um, you should be. There's definitely two. I have two tycoon saves in there, Strongo. Sorry, I didn't realize. I didn't understand the abbreviation. Um, so there's. You, you, I, I can tell you the names of the clubs, and you should be able to find them through that there was one that i did which was Anan anandia anadia in the third division of portugal but from what james told me that was a or someone told me it was a, a back end one and there was also one for arbeiter sport club in austria those are the two tycoon takeovers that i found so far hey trucker 
Uh, we had a match today. Oh, it's the um this one. Yeah, it, it was James. Yeah, back end tycoon. So that one's less good. We'll play whoever for this game, particularly as we can put someone like Makuma in. Do a bit of that. Hugo, thank you for the follow. We're having a lovely Sunday. Robin, drop in the ten months. How's it going? You beautiful Australian bastard. Crucify me and nail my head to a wooden cross. There is nothing above. There is nothing below. Heaven and hell lives in all of us. And I've been cast astray. I am an ocean. I am the sea. There is a hell. Believe me, I've seen it. There is a heaven. Let's keep it a secret. It took me most of that to realize that you just made him read out Bring Me the Horizon lyrics. <laughs> that is what that was, right? What nations have you force loaded the players this year? Have you done specific nations or regions? No. So this year, earlier, I actually went a bit overboard with it and literally loaded them all. Um, I loaded every player from every top division club in every nation and continent in the world. And a few extras with like high rep and like national time. Uh, I wish I could show you the exact breakdown of it because it doesn't show it on the thing. But I could put my database set up in the Discord though. That's something I actually will be able to do later if you remind me. Samurai, that would be so... What's the back end tycoon? So basically they don't... Uh, actually... Look, you know what? I'm not even going to embarrass myself by trying to explain it. Uh, James? <laughs> it, essentially, you're not going to see... It. They're sort of like an underwriter, if I remember correctly, so that they won't let the club get into huge financial trouble, but they're not going to be pumping mad moon money into the club, basically. It's just... Yeah. I wish it told you that when they took over. Like, on the screen. I'm sure there's a way of finding out. Like, bums. <laughs> so they're always trying to sign Rig and Booty, essentially. Rosa Messer needs to go and get my Panini stickers. God, snow in Australia, Robin. Madness. How's Merva? Uh, another week. Hang on, we got another break straight after that. Or is that the winter break? No. That's weird. Maybe it's something to do with the top flight stuff. Won't pay my money on it. Did you have a look at the Arbiter Sport Club one as well? Was that back end? Because unfortunately, this is the thing. We don't know if the Longford Town one potentially was a back end guy as well. Yeah, so when I did that sim with uh, Dino Zagreb, and yeah, I somehow won the Champions League with Dino Zagreb in a simulated save. <laughs> so I was in charge of the club, but I was holidaying. I put my tactics in, and I was holidaying, and I'd assigned everything to the staff. So they were still signing players and stuff, but they won the Champions League, and then the game crashed. <laughs> and they got to second in the coefficients doing that, too. Refuses to be an Australian and not a Finn. I didn't say she was an Aussie, Arrow. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> I feel like I'm bullying you now. I've been calling you Australian for like two years. <laughs> oh, dear. Keep you stable. Front end is throwing big money. Yes. Oh, so is there only two types? Ah, right. Yeah, the underwriter one's the one I was thinking of. Totally to get fucked since you got to keep a nationality. <laughs> big up, Merva. Top farm, it could be. Uh, you... Uh, we'll just send it to the physio. Only way of doing a director of football save. Um, so... D yeah, I guess so. I I'm thinking about making a video where I'm going to do the opposite of the director of football saves. I want to do one where I'm the director of football. Because I've seen the concept before of where someone else is the director of football and set up training schedules. Not at the moment. I'm still waiting for like an optimized version. In winter. And currently the defaults are actually fairly good. So we're kind of just leaving it at the moment. Thank and also thank you for the follow, Frank. Come to work. No, neither can I. It just doesn't feel like it. That's another injury. Oh, I'm so annoyed that Bognar went out jet skiing. He's been absolutely unplayable this season for us. We all the doff. Yeah, so the way that you'd do it when you're the doff would be that. You'd have to holiday through the game. As long as you holiday through, through the game day, it's fine. But you'd have to appoint your assistant, essentially, as the manager. So that's the tough part about being the doff. Then you'd have to recruit based on your... Exactly, yeah. No, you can't instant result. If you instant result, technically you're still in charge of the game. Um, I'm the Pope. You have to holiday. Off the Pope hat. Because if you holiday, your assistant takes charge with his tactics. That's the difference. Liam NUFC, thank you for the follow. Sometimes you're the doff, sometimes they're the doff, sometimes you're both the doff. That's hot. It's true. So you just want to arrange a meeting where he'll gas you, stick you in the back of his van, and make a wind chime out of your genitals. If you got to, you can do it without holiday. Really? Love this. Hadrian's just teaching me shit. Where am I looking? I'm the Pope. Responsibilities. Where what are we doing? Off the Pope Show me your wares. Ask man to recommend signings like the 
Doff does. I think so. Yeah, no, I think you can, actually. Toninio, thank you for the follow. You can always have a Doff as well at the club and have them, like, be your assistant, if you liked. Up the Doff. Could be, yeah. <laughs> what I've tried before. Blitz. Oh, holy shit. Timer! From the ma I wouldn't say I'm the master. As I said in the Building a Nation video, I'm an expert in this, not because I'm good, because I've done it a lot. <laughs> it's a very different thing. Holmes, oh, thank you for the follow. Would it work with the skin that does instant result? Because I don't think it would, because with instant result, it's instant result is simulating the match, but as if you were in charge of it. Whereas if you holiday through the game, your assistant gets put in charge, provided that you tell it that. But yeah, I'm, I'm just curious to see what Hadrian's got to say here. Isn't just set everyone to assistant. I don't think you can set matches to your assistant, can you? Touchline instructions, friendly matches, but I don't think you can actually set the match control to your assistant. Uh, hang on. So we go to the drop the menu. Staff tab has the team selection one. Team selection, yes, but not the actual tactics as far as I'm aware. That would just pick the team, if I remember. I don't think you can actually put him in charge of matches, per se. Uh, expert and patience. Yeah, it's the 10,000 hours rule, isn't it? Provides selection advice, team selection, opposition instructions, selection advice, opposition instructions. Yeah. Have to that's the thing. So that's why I would do it with the holiday. Because when you holiday... Oh, God. When you holiday, it actually... He'll play the game with his tactic. You could then... The problem with like reverse engineering it by picking his tactic is you won't be able to see all his instructions and stuff like that, which will make it harder for training, admittedly. So it's... Mm. I'm not entirely sure how it works. Why is he still... No, hang on, we can just have the same discussion again. Uh, positions really matter. Yeah, I'm going to have to ask say that every month, unfortunately. Mm. Datro Fafana, I've... He randomly rocked up in the Croatian League on one of my saves. When that save I was doing where I was... um Where I won the Champions League with Dino Zagreb, I was testing a little bit in 2037 at one point and randomly Datra Fafana was rocking up for like Shebenik oh nice one Liam with Latvia what are the rules like in Latvia I haven't actually looked into it since it became like an official league in the game right we're playing Giremont let's get this back in Robin Roofs is interesting we probably should start Roofs because otherwise they'll just recall him I'm not starting Mohamed Hussein Booty's been playing genuinely good lately Surely I play, um... Yeah, we'll play Nemeth. We'll put Sissoko on the left, and then... Oh, Panache's injured, isn't he? Yeah, okay, it might actually have to be Sissoko through the middle. Not ideal. Both the best things occur. The money's amazing, but then I get absolute groups of death. Oh, yeah, we're going to get rinsed. Do you remember our first couple of years in the Champions League with Treaty United, where we, I think, conceded, like, the record number of goals? Arsenal hit eight against us. Uh, how many leagues? So at the moment, in the second tier, which is where we are, it's a 38-game season because they have a 20-team second tier, which I believe goes down to 18 in the second season or something. But the top flight is much smaller. Uh, so I think it's only a 33-game season top flight, which is still a, a good amount. And now 40... 14 foreign play? Really? Wow. Okay. Might be building a nation next year, anybody? That's not as bad as I thought. Meze is the ball winner. Um, I might do the stud instead, since Cater's... Why would Cater not play? I know he's on a booking, but, like, he's clearly the best man for the role. And as long as we've got the stud on the bench, we'll be fine, right? I might put Kovac Shriti on the bench just because he wants football. 20 plus goals. It was definitely over 20 goals we conceded. Do you remember, chat, last year with Treaty United when Dortmund came third in their Champions League group despite not scoring a goal? They managed to get out of their group technically and qualify for the Europa League knockouts without scoring a goal in their group. They lost most games, but drew, I think, three games nil-nil, and that was enough. I've never seen anything like that before. Three teams went out of financials in the top tier in the past year. But it's fine. I'm coming to town. I actually don't, Hayden. I, I usually wait for RDF's training because he's just the boss at it, and nothing I could do would be any better than what he does, so I just wait for him. I feel like there's certain creators where I'm just like, I know they're going to do a better job at this than me. I'll just wait till they do it, and then I can go, right. That way I can go, here it is. I'm using it. Go give them support. It's... <laughs> You know? Two teams are Wasn't that this year, <laughs> Rob? With the whole Celtic and Rangers thing? Or did they not quite concede enough for that? What was the record number of goals conceded in the Champions League? I've genuinely forgotten. 
feels like 20 would be a reasonable amount, right? Okay. Hey, slugs! Got the new record also had the top score. Yeah, you right. We did. There was all sorts of weirdness because I believe there was like that year that Emmett was top scorer in both the Champions League and the Europa League in the same season because he'd obviously played in all the qualifiers. We had um, the groups of the Champions League and he scored like a few goals in there despite us getting twatted. So he actually was top scorer at the end of the tournament. But then we got into the knockouts of the Europa League and he scored like 15 goals in the knockouts. He got like seven against Bayer Leverkusen over the course of one tie. Mad. There's a reason we call him ED7. The worst team ever in the Champions League. So I think dodged a bullet there, really, didn't they? Um, okay. I guess the train keeps going, right? Qualifiers don't count. <laughs> count for me. I think that was the same year that Emmett got seven goals against uh, Shakhtar Sologorsk to, of course, earn his title ED7. It had to have been. I don't know how else he could have been top scorer in the tournament if he didn't. If it wasn't the year that he got the seven goals. Evidence-based football manager. I haven't. Is that a person? Um, but no, I'm, I'm not familiar. I honestly don't watch that much FM content a lot of the time, really. Oh, Stieber's already through. Go on, square it. Oh, ho, ho, the post for Zoltan Stieber. And it's 1-0. We're just... We're just on a different level. Oh, cheers, Saz. 24 goals conceded. Oh, wow. That is quite... Hang on, didn't Pilsen get a really good result against Barca at one point? That was a nice finish from Stieber. What a drink sport. It contains more liquid. This is 2.2 litres. <laughs> Being of the game or after the January update? Um, obviously, with the January update will come the latest lineups for the Norwegian League, I believe. But I don't really see why you'd need to hang on at that point, right? Double the pee break. True. But it also stops me you know, having loads of bottles everywhere and I can just refill this. Oh, pure VOD. It's actually been a relatively subdued first half from us for once. See, Soko's not really the striker. That's the problem. One of the things I would say, if you haven't already tried this, um, would highly recommend. One of the things I think that makes this tactic so good is this swapping wingers. If you're in a situation where you've got inside forwards or wingers that can play on both sides, set them up to swap. It is a game changer. It's just... I don't know why it works so well, but at the moment, it is mental how good the swapping side wingers thing is. So I recommended it with strikers, but we didn't have the, um, the situation for it. But with wingers, it works just as well. It's so good. Oh. The bookmark. The bookmark thing is really, really sick. I need to actually use that a little bit more. Like, yeah. Everything's based on that. Oh, I'm kind of interested in this now, actually. <laughs> to up the volleys. No, we love the volleys. Oh, God. Every time a keeper moves, I just expect terrible things to happen. That's a good pass, actually. Right, we need a big tackle on him here. Okay, hey, look, our keeper has made a save with his hands. Wonders will never bloody cease. This has actually been a relatively low-quality performance from us. Our GM are a bit better. They're on, like, mid-table side, I guess. So we are still winning away from home currently. Okay, Sissoko's got to get off. He's not having the game. It's just, this is not it. I should have started Petros, though, really. And Nemet's not been great through the middle. So we'll get Kovacs, who was loaned out, but I recalled him because he was complaining. And I'm trying to be a bit better at squad management this year. Uh, but real some... Uh, Catherine Booty doing a great job. Well, we love the bodies. Pick up the bodies. Yeah, I think it's one of these ways that at least you can sort of automate it to a certain extent. Will I be able to get away with praising them here? I've been told I can. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> F1 one kid. I don't know Weasel Farmer. It's not a player. He's not a player that I'm super familiar with outside of the save we're currently doing. Oh, okay. They switched to 4 4 2 in the final stages here. Got a bit more aggressive. And they've not been awful in this game. But it doesn't matter because we won anyway. Come on. Lower team coefficient points. I'm curious to see how that's going to plan out when we get to that point. Because I feel like by the time we're actually involved in any kind of European competition. It's going to be the new version. I don't. I think it's like the first two seasons are normal, and then it changes. Yeah, Spart Spartakers are back in action again, but we're now nine points clear in the promotion. I think promotion is looking pretty good, but I would like to win the league while we're here. His name was Peter. Oh, for a second, I thought he was... I quite like the social feed too, actually. It looks more like Twitter. I imagine that was clickable. We're just DMing other managers to shit talk them. <laughs> Five straight wins as well. Yeah, we've the latest couple of little changes to the tactic of just tweaked it to the point where I really like it. Ah, so position swapping. For those of you that don't know how it works, 
So you want to make sure that your players, obviously, that you've put in the roles are capable of playing on both sides or at least have a little bit of like familiarity with both, you know. So what you do is you go to player, you click here, and you go down to the bottom here, you can select who you want to swap them with. So hypothetically, you can swap them with quite a lot of different areas, actually, as it goes. Just swapping your DM and your striker over every 15 minutes. But yeah, it's it seems to work really well. <laughs> FM Scott, thank you for the follow. Either foot in this. I actually quite like inside forwards that are on, say, a left-sided inside forward. I actually quite like them on their left foot sometimes because I find that it allows them to get into goal-scoring positions and shoot across the goalkeeper with their left foot. And I like some of the scenarios it creates. So depending on how you want your tactic to work, then fair. But I actually quite like them on the wrong foot sometimes. Also, if you're... You could also do it if you've got a guy that's like an inside forward slash striker and you can alternate those two as well. But we don't have any players that can do that other than Sissoko at the moment. Oh, nice one, Scott. How did you find me on YouTube? Yeah, if they're using man marking, which because of some of the way that FM's um, changes the way that AI teams set up, I suspect they are, could provide quite an advantage. Wow, Pushkas are smashing it this year. It looks like Vasas. We're going to be probably changing places with Vasas. Uh, sorry, Vashash. It really fucking is, isn't it, Viking? It's so good. Because they've added... This is a weird side topic here. But yeah, they've added a coin system in Peglin. They've added the shops. They've added... There's a couple of new orbs as well, I believe. It's so good. Oh, Viking. Seriously, Soulstone Survivors. Fucking outrageously good game. So good. I, someone in chat, I think it was. I, it might have been Passbro. Recommended it to me on stream last week. And it's so good. I, I spent most of yesterday afternoon playing it. Oh, the treaty save. Wow. Or was it you, Bagpus? It's so good. Highly recommend it. It's like $8.99 on Steam. Totally worth it. It's got the same kind of vibes as Vampire Survivors, but it's got the... I feel like I like the progression system with the runes and stuff in it. It's really, really good. Has to be wrong foot down. No, that's the thing. Because think about it, Backlog, right? If you put a player who's an inside forward on the left here, on but they're left-footed, and they haven't really got much of a right foot, they're still going to cut inside because that's what an inside forward does. The only difference is what foot they're going to be controlling the ball with, right? So when they get into shooting or scoring positions, they're going to be on their left foot. So what I'm thinking, the reason I like it sometimes is because I feel like it makes them more likely to take those lovely angled shots across the goalkeeper. Whereas when they're on their right foot, they have to open their body out and fan it. And I find that often in FM, players seem to be unlikely to do that as often. And Huckleberry Finn! Oh, what in the Mark Twain is going on here? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome in, my friend. Let me get you a shout out. How stream? Uh, we were just discussing inside forwards on their wrong feet. Thoughts. Also, I realize that says Huckleberry Finn, but, you know. You know. I had to do Mark Twain jokes. Come on. Um, am I going to spell this correctly? Please, go on. Can he do it? Can man spell? Man can spell. What have we learned? <laughs> yeah, so it's 2pm, Hadrian, now on the Sundays. Oh, dear. But yeah, no, I would highly recommend, if you like those kind of games, um, use it outside of boot. I don't know if I'd want to. I actually, I like them in that position is what I mean. I actually like what they do. F1 starts at... Oh, is F1 at 1? Yeah, so we might do it to 1 o'clock today then, if that's the case. The reason I like the earlier stream on a Sunday is that for the most part, football on a Sunday starts at like 2. F1 starts at 2 normally. And it gives me the flexibility. So if I do need to stop slightly earlier, we're not doing like a two-hour stream then. We can still get three hours in. Because we've got um, World Cup later as well. Less important than for... Yeah, agreed. Um... That's why I like inside forwards. Cooper, do not hate me. I am familiar What's annoying me so interesting. And I when I see things in the freaky. match engine that are like irksome to me, I tend to try to exploit it like for my own gains, I guess. So that's why I've kind of driven more in towards doing it. Um, heck, Manovic. Thank you very much for the follow. Just liking... Oh, agreed. Um, centre-back goalkeepers. Literally, that's the one thing about the match engine that I have a complaint about. I think everything else is... Oh, maybe the there's too many penalties being given, I think. That's the one thing for me that's still a little bit over the top. What are we up to now in pens? We'd had 41 penalties given in the first nine league <laughs> Where is it? I always lose it. It's in here somewhere, isn't it? Uh, oh, God help. Where is it? Attacking, goals four, expected goals four. Penalties taken, here we go. Too many red cards. I haven't seen that much. Uh, registration rules in Norway are kind of tough because you can only have nine players, I believe, that are foreign players. Like, So not even um, like 
No, just, that just means non-Norwegian. Hey, right, Kaver. And you can obviously naturalize players, but the other problem with Norway is that they have squad registration that means that every player has to be registered regardless of their age or anything like that. There's no rules that like certain players don't have to be registered. So, I mean, this is what we're up to at the moment. So let's do the recount here. So that's 11, 15, 19, 22. Oh my Lord. 25, 28. I wish, was a, I wish it was like a total stat somewhere, but there isn't. 31, 34. Oh my days. 37, 40, 43, 45, 47, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. So in our first 13 league games, we've had 53 penalties given. <laughs> Which is a lot. It's a good amount. <laughs> oh, dear. Plus, what I've also noticed is a lot of them don't even look like pens. What about difference with Dribble more or very OP? Interesting. I still think you'd kind of have to have a certain type of player to work that, though, right? Because we, we actually started off with a BPD in this system. Oh, 53 pens so far in 13 games. Bearing in mind, it's a 38-game season. If it carries on like this, we're looking at over 150 penalties. <laughs> Which is going to be fun. Men penalty taker got 20 goals. Yeah. But that's probably why Bogdar was so good for us. Uh, poor in training. Yep, that's good. Okay, I'm actually quite liking the NEC manager. He generally takes my advice. And when I say my advice, I bully him. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we can't afford these guys. I just took them on trials just to see. But like, unfortunately, they'll all want like... Yeah, they're not... What I would say though is... These types of players, next season if we get promoted, are fully... You've got 66 in 19 games. I reckon we might be at close to 70 by the time we get to 19 games. One penalty. Yeah, we've had six. We're the highest at the moment. It could just be... The weird thing is, though, and this was pointed out, that actually the top flight in Hungary is way better. So look, that's what? 7, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 pens in 10. No, with less teams, admittedly. But that one seems a lot more... Maybe it's just the quality of the refereeing is designed to be really bad in this league. <laughs> what? Has asked to hold a conversation with me about why Roofs is being outplayed. So... Originally, the problem that Roofs would be mainly played as a goalkeeper. Roger, do I have to explain to you what a goalkeeper is? Where the hell else do you think I've been playing him? He's not working in the fucking canteen, is he? I realise it's because um, he's... Must have said that he was going to play as a goalkeeper, not a sweeper keeper. But like, for the love of God, <laughs> just get over it, Roger. Just said I'd liked him, and now this: fifty penalties, fifty-seven in the whole season in the top division. That feels reasonable. To be fair, it's not so much about the the overall number; it's about the number per game. Yeah, goalkeeper, person who keep goals. It's true, Platter. Can you explain that to Roger? <laughs> Maybe he thought you use him as a goalkeeper, a great keeper. <laughs> Man, it's just... Do you know what? I think you do a good job there. Yes, it is. I quit. I open my... Once we've reached the videos, we've been assuming seasons with different ref ratings and know we've gone too far. Don't give me ideas, Fall. <laughs> Platter, thank you for the follow. No, I've already got my videos for next week planned out. That won't be in it. We're doing um scouting views on Tuesday. I, I'm finally going to remake that video and actually do a decent job of it this time. And I'm going to make some extra views for it and update the ones we've currently got. And then I'm hoping to do the reverse coefficient the reverse coefficient video later in the uh, week, which will be fun. Liam with the tier one. Holy shit. Thank you so much, my friend. Welcome aboard. That is unbelievably kind of you. I haven't left Dendonker on my trail. <laughs> on your trail. Patrick Mahomes is a ref. Oh, I mean, it's Mahomes. He could do it all. That man is probably a world-class chef as well, isn't he? Let's be clear. Right, who have we got next? Oh, it's Seged. We're playing against Seged. I've been looking forward to this game since we started this save. Where are Seged these days? Why does their badge not show up in here? I've checked as well. It's in the badge pack. I might have to have a look at the um, config file for the badge pack. We're trying to solve some of the issues. Um, I... Okay, here's my... And bear in mind, this is based on... From what I've heard from certain people. They're taking their time because they want it to be done right and they don't want to break more things, basically. So, and I completely get that. I would expect to see... I, I, I would expect to see an update way before the January update, obviously, that tackles a lot of the issues that are currently plaguing the game. But I wouldn't expect to see it immediately. 
Uh, that's sort of the way it's looking at the moment from what I can tell from people I've spoke to. And I'm, I'd rather they do it that way. Like, as much as there are some issues with the game, the too many penalties for me is a thing, and the centre-backs and goalkeeping, it's at least a comical error, right? It still makes the games entertaining and fun. They're just a little bit frustrating at times. Now, cut back to me when that costs us the title. Maybe it's a different story. Let's see if we can actually get some crowbar. To be fair, if there's anyone I'd want as the crowbar, it's um, it's the stud here. I don't even know if I want to be in the same room as this guy. Annoyed. Oh, God. Hang on. I'm just going to step back a little bit. They should solve that. Of course, yes. But it's not as simple as, um, like, press a button fix. It's a case of how do we fix this without breaking other things? Because that's very important. The balance is so damn key. And I'd rather they take their time over that. Outside the stadium down the road. My favorite one was, honestly, to, to this date, my favorite sort of quirk about the game this year was that random meeting where that player was annoyed at me because he didn't think he was going to get a work pit permit for his new contract, which I had not offered him. But he still currently had a work permit and he was furious at me because he might not get one next time. And I'm like, what do you want me to do about that? Be better. And then I got called into a meeting with players who were upset about the fact that he didn't get a work permit but the fun part was i couldn't even enter the meeting there was no button to join the meeting it was just these players were upset and they were like what are you gonna do about it i'm like i don't know maybe let me in the room so that was my favorite so far um is he a real leader in the dressing room yeah she kind of is do you know what chap i just beat the stud at his own his own game and thighs freeze is chuffed isn't he just they did so not just silent therapy they had a meeting without me but then told me about it also we only beat it's a bit concerning that we only beat the fought the fought fetish 3-0 but it's fine we come back to that could have got citizen before the deal expired yeah it's utterly stupid uh oh hello what are we doing here so jarju is already joining us in january so we don't have to worry about jarju um is there any like ah oh, see if you were 40 or 41 we could have had a conversation but no you might be coolier but you're not coming here this ain't no gangster's paradise rest in peace um the problem with a lot of these guys is like i could trial them they won't join us and if they will they won't be able to, we won't be able to afford them anyway let's have a look at any mad stuff here like diambo he's kind of fascinating actually wow we have a lot of information on him I suppose it's worth just to keep trialing some of these players just because the information that we're going to collect through this is quite useful. In the default skin, it should be in the same spot, John, but I can't confirm that. You should still be able to hit player, right? And then go into here. Unless this is something that has changed. I think it's the same spot. I might be wrong, though. I outstudded the stud. Does that mean me the stud now? Like, <laughs> yeah, Coolio passed uh, not that long ago, if I recall. So jet ski paradise. Not really, Max, honestly. Also, it's annoying. The England games is right in the middle of my workday tomorrow, which is just a pain because now I'm going to have to like record script and try to re outline scripts and try to record a video before the game starts. Watch the game, then edit it afterwards. And I have to do thumbnails for it after stream on Tuesday or something. That's not about... I haven't actually noticed that happening yet, Basil, weirdly. But maybe they're just not good enough. Fuck it. Let's just take some of these guys on trial anyway. Anyone who's available will trial. Well, if they're all right. Like, so these guys have got okay potential, potentially. It won't be long until we can start doing some proper scouting anyway. And by proper scouting, I mean ignoring the way the game is set up. <laughs> I opened my own scouting system. Uh, Florent Hottie, what a name. Trialists in the cup. Uh, Finland. F in Finland, you're allowed to play trialists in the... I don't know about the entire cup, but certainly in the group stages. Particularly... I mean, do you remember when I cup-tied my entire first team to my B team? Caught match fixing. <laughs> I don't look at me here. Scripting videos. It's a new. I've turned over a new leaf chat with this new style of content, which I must say, people seem to be liking. And that makes me happy. It really does. I feel like I'm actually doing something on YouTube again for the first time in literally like five years. I'm seeing growth and people enjoying the videos and like getting decent viewership on them, which is nice. It feel, makes you feel good. Makes you feel like you're all right at your job. Imagine. I still can't believe I did that in Finland. Is this stream scripted? It is. Um, I have an incredible memory. Actually, what it is, I'm reading off a teleprompter. Uh, yeah, I bribed Ecuador to lose. Qatar offered them 7.4 million, but I offered them 7.5. You know? It's been like hearing all the entire island is designed to annoy English people. I'm actually reading a book about Australia at the moment. I say about Australia. It's set in Australia. 
it's, it's, that's about that's about all. It's about this family that go to this desert. Well, let's say deserted. This island off the coast of Victoria, and it's run by that mad family, and they try to murder them. <laughs> it's really good. Are reading off a telephone? In a way, yes, because chat is just a scrolling. Yeah, you've got me there on a technicality. What are you telling me ever for? <laughs> Uh, you were done on one side, Leaf. I figured, you, you know, you want to be even, right? You don't want a bad tan. Is it the 2008 flop movie Australia? Do you know it's not? No, it's actually called The Island. Uh, it's by a bloke called Adrian McKinty, um, who I read a book by him called The Chain, uh, literally last Saturday. And I've nearly finished this one as well, because I when I start reading his books, I just can't stop. I literally started yesterday morning, and I'm like 300 pages into it. But I just like, it's, just, it's compelling writing, and it's annoying. It's one of those I can't put that down type of books. Um, the Island is by Michael Bay. <laughs> Wait, did I? Did he really direct that? As in the Nicole, the uh, Ewan McGregor one? Wait to finagle the loan rules. Uh, interestingly, uh, Voida, they don't seem to apply. We've done a lot of tests and haven't managed to find any examples of them actually coming into play at all in Hungary. Weirdly. Very hobby not football related. I would say running, but I'd be lying because, as you can tell, I haven't run for like three weeks since I got COVID. Um... Hobbies. Like, I like playing games with my friends. Like, just a, that sounds really, like, lame. But, like, I do. I, it's because it's an excuse to talk to my mates. And I like... I, no, I would say running. I do like running. I like getting out there and stuff like that. Loves a bit of dogging. True, yep. Keys in a bowl, etc. Um. Ah, oh, Panache's back. Perfect. I guess Palinchar through the middle, maybe? God, we're really going to miss Bognar. I'm not playing Meze there. Where the hell's... Oh, Qatar's probably uh, suspended. Let's be honest. We do get a lot of yellows. Fuck it. Time to give the beast what he wants. Sorry, not the beast. The stud. Stud's in. Collecting pogs. I've got my pogs. It's all I need. Mikey Bay. Did he really? I don't remember that being that much of an awful film. It's been a while since I've seen it, admittedly. Hopefully they'll make a new version. Anti-gravity books. You can't put... That's true. Ooh, okay. So they've got... Mm, okay. Okay, that's fine. Sick. Uh, and with that in mind, Australia puns. Back in a second. I saw Aaron Ramsey Street. We have a winner. <laughs> Extraordinary. I love Aaron Ramsey Street so much. Oh, shrimp on the Nick Barmby. Kamar, Great Barrier Roof. <laughs> oh. Hey, Stephen. OJC. <laughs> I 
love how I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I've just had to add the no, term to the auto oh, yes, one. Very Can't I yeah, go? Uh, salad. Thank you very much for the follow. Hope you're well today. Margot Robbie Fowler. <laughs> Pogs out back. Oh dear. Harold Bishop Auckland. Is there actually a Bishop Auckland in? Also, Auckland's in New Zealand. <laughs> you've had a mad... You, you've had a mayor there, Cash. <laughs> Thriller books. I recommend Harry Hole, series by Joe Nesbo. Yep, I've read some of Joe Nesbo's stuff. I actually have a couple of... Um, uh, actually, is, is Joe Nesbo a bloke or a woman? I genuinely don't know. Uh, it's so ambiguous. like and Not androgynous name, but it could be either. And um, I've read a book by Joe Nesbo called... Oh, God, what was it? I was going to say about a drug dealer, but that probably doesn't narrow it down much, does it? <laughs> but no, I do like those types of books too. I don't know what I'm going to read next, honestly. So, guy, it's a singer too. Nice. Town and County Durham. Yeah, I knew where Bishop Auckland was, but I was trying to work out if there was like a Bishop Auckland potentially in like Australia or something. But I know that Auckland's obviously um, Sydney e Banks Blake. <laughs> okay, let's do this. I want to see how long we can keep this on beat and run going now that we've... I do think though that the lack of... The lack of Bognar is gonna cost us. Download as Explorer, not as a file. Uh, that is bizarre. So when you go to the folder, could someone exclamation mark skin for a second? Just so I can get the thing up in the chat. Uh, I don't have the button. Or do I have a button? Oh, top. Thank you. So when you go to this folder, which is the folder you should be presented with, so all you need to do is go to... Okay. <laughs> There's a little button of it, or you can just right click on it and go download. And that should be downloading the FMF file. And then you just dump that in Sports Interactive Football Manager 2023 skins. That's all you should need to do. Um, I'm curious if that is the method you're using. Um, yeah. Trying to sign an entry. <laughs> if only it were true. Miles Perth Harris is a very solid one. Home and away in Rooney. Mel Bournemouth. Tasmania, oh dear. Oh, good work, Steber. Let's have the. Ooh. We're bound to lose eventually. Watch it be to Seged. Oh, Booty again. He's just in there. He's like a piranha. Glory hole. Oh, here we go. Oh, I thought Palanchal was about to get that. We are still losing a lot of aerial battles, I've noticed. So I think we are going to have to next season invest in some absolutely huge centre backs. Fully worked enough for 22, though. Wait, hang on. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what could possibly have gone wrong, though, because that, that's literally how you do it. Oh, Palanchal's in. No, he's not. Oh, unless... Go on, square it. <laughs> Defensive mistakes yet again. It's 1-0 to MTK, and Panache's banged another one in. I reckon Panache could get 20 for us in the league. Do I watch Formula 1? Uh, yes. Um, I haven't watched it late, like, the last few months, really, because uh, I haven't really found what's going on all that interesting in it, to be fair. Uh, we will be uh, ending stream for the Formula 1 today, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Mod Gideon on the side. Oh, if I don't... There is a way that you could actually do that. Because with the resource archiver, it is possible. Could it be the cash? Mm. What, for the reason that the skin isn't showing up? I don't know. But from what... um, uh, I can't remember the chapter's name, apologies. Was saying it was like the file itself wasn't an FMF file. But I don't know how it couldn't be if that's what you're downloading. <laughs> Barrier Keith Cole. <laughs> Castile, thank you for the follow. Okay, this is just, this is just lovely football. I think that the game really does um, lend itself to a sort of more passing style this year because the less your players have got the ball at their feet, the less likely they are to get it intercepted from them by a defender, I suppose. Now, obviously, interceptions can happen with the passes too, but I feel like there's way less mistakes in the passing than there is in the dribbling. Oh, Sissoko. Oh, surely not. <laughs> There's another penalty. <laughs> yep, normal time for the streams, don't worry. I know that there will be World Cup games on during the streams for the next couple of weeks, but I had a look and the games on aren't like super big ones. So I'm not particularly worried about changing my stream time. And once it goes, once you pass around the first couple of match days, it goes back to being all late time anyway. So I'm not super concerned about that. You forgot to sign your booty ticket. Ah, so, Bakroon, there is actually a way that you can set them to auto-sign, but you have to delegate that in your staff. 
most excited about. Do you know what? I'm honestly not excited about any of them. <laughs> I'm just not that asked about the World Cup at the moment. At all. Yeah, the less we have the ball at our feet, the less mistakes we can make. Precisely. We're tuning up against Seged. At the moment, we go six points clear at the top and 11 clear of the promotion spots. And this is without our cheeky boy. Ugly lower leagues. Yeah. You can do a little bit of... That, that being said, we are playing some lovely football at times. Oh, God, this is getting in behind us, isn't it? No? Okay. Oh, that's a lovely pass. Byro's in, and he's going to write his name onto the score sheet. Ah, it happens. I'm already looking at this and thinking, next season, what are we going to need? And it's going to be big centre-backs because we're bad in the air and a goalkeeper that can actually save a football. Because the amount of games we've had where we've conceded their only shot is actually light, like, it's disgusting. Booty with a strike. Oh, no, that was so close. Who's winning the first game of the World Cup? Oh, we all know that goal, Grit. It's going to be 1-0, isn't it? Did you redo Santad it? Byro wins a pen. That's good. It feels weird having a World Cup in winter. It feels weird having a World Cup in a place that it shouldn't be. I just, as I said, hope that everything that can embarrass it continues to do so. I, I really hope that it's an absolute farce in every possible way, as it continues to be so. Because that alone, the memes are going to be so enjoyable, if nothing else. What's the point? Well, well true, yeah. Oh, lovely little pass from Booty. Oh, and it's somehow over the line again. It's Panache with his eighth. That's definitely not his eighth. I'm fairly certain he got his eighth earlier in the game. See, that still broke. Yeah, the fan videos are actually hilarious. Um, I've yet to see a video of any actual fans yet. <laughs> Turn off. <laughs> oh, dear. It's terrible. <laughs> Well, I don't. I think there's going to be a lot of empty stadiums potentially, unless they're going to pay people to go to the games, right? I, mean, I don't know anybody that's going. Went on a boozy river tour in Budapest. That does sound fun, honestly. Four point one was Ladislav Byro. That would make sense. That, that's why I made the pen joke and the the joke about him writing. Um, I say I didn't make the pen joke. I read that from chat. I've stolen it. You've been legged. Uh, right, we'll get Meze on for a little bit. But God, look at Booty's ratings in these games now. Man is just enjoying his time. This is what I mean. When it comes to Roman Playmaker, ignore the star rating. As long as they've got attributes that you think are fine for the role, screw the star rating. Like Kermad says, it feels like it's the complete forward of midfield roles. I keep taking Panache. No, you know what? I'm going to leave him on. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will leave him on. I was going to take him off, but like I would like him to give him a chance to get a hat trick. So I'm going to hopefully let him do that. Oh, God. What else have I got? Maybe Nemeth. But Palantzar's done really well today, though. So, big up him. 90k for a hospitality ticket. So, what you're saying, Viking, is we're off, right? We're, we're going out there for that. <laughs> to be, pretend to be the England band. <laughs> now, that's a job I'd be up for. Hey, European football analyst. Just think about being drunk or being drunk. I mean, probably won't be able to play this on stream, but hey, what more do you want? That's another really strong attacking output. Once again, though, conceding off of basically nothing. Oh, it was a good chance, in fairness. We're just controlling so much of the ball, though. <laughs> it's pocket change, indeed, yeah. We're going up in the world now. It's fine. We invested in a company called FTX. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> God, they won again. I mean, it looks like Spartacus are a very, very strong side. But we're also 10 points clear in here. We have a plus 22 goal difference now. This team is phenomenal. Mm. Proxy is real. I mean, yeah. But, you know, I'm still going to watch games, probably. England bad. Have actually been paid to go by the FA? Wow. I guess they had to have someone there, right? My day's been good. We still haven't... Have we actually done anything other than win so far today? No, we've won every game so far. Which, admittedly, is only three, but still. Lose a lot of money. Yeah, I know, but like, it's got, you know, it's dropping the ocean, isn't it? Ah, Van Connecten's going to be out for the next game. So, obviously, it is... Um, I'm really having a good time. I was... I'll be honest with you. I was so worried going into the last stream that we were going to be... 
stuck tactically and really struggle to make something work because I was genuinely struggling to figure out anything else when I was doing those tactics incubators. And then when we came on the stream, reverted a couple of things, made a tiny couple of tweaks, and now bang. This is looking like a really stable tactic. I have no morals. Do you know what? I rate that. Hey, Daz. Bad hangover day. Oh, dear. Where were you last night? You have no say. Yeah, I think that's... Yeah. I don't know. I think there's a lot of sort of... We talked about this earlier. I think there's also a lot of sort of virtue signaling when it comes to things like that as well, where it's... It, they, they don't, people, a lot of people don't actually care about things like that. They just want everyone to know how good of a person they are, I suppose, you know? And I just... I don't have time for that either. Do good things. Like, that... that what makes you a good person is doing good things. Not telling everybody how great you are, you know? That's the way I look at it. That's also not, not me saying I'm a good person, because I don't do good things. <laughs> but I'm aware of that. Van Connecten. I know. Well, how do you say his name? Because I'm feeling like the G feels like one of those Gs that's going to be softer than you expect, right? Jerry Neville, oh, yeah. I, I just called him Jerry Neville because I was still thinking about connecting. <laughs> a cocktail. I'm mixing my drinks like an amateur. Daz, you should know better. You really should know better. You, you pick a drink and you stick with it. Now, whatever that drink might be. And this can lead you down some weird rabbit holes, I'll admit. Happens if you get sacked. So if we were to get sacked in the save, the plan in the, the other saves like this was that we would just take over another side. Oh, it's like a like a Van Gaal type of... So Van Gaal... Connect them. I am also getting that impression, Rob. Yeah. So, big old Wazza. Oh, I miss his old profile picture. I really do. It's a goal for the rest. A goal for all of them. <laughs> it really doesn't. There is no goal bar Fana Bafana here, is there? What about a monster? Not one I'm familiar with. Then again, I haven't actually drunk monster in. Last time I drank monster was when I went to pick up Pog after I'd stayed up all night watching ice hockey. But pretty girl kept offering to pick my drinks. So what can I do? I mean, hey, you. Fair one at that point. Yeah, the, the problem is well, when you get to my age, you kind of do have to just start picking. You pick one drink and you stick with it. Like when I got sloshed at that wedding earlier this year, the wine was free. They were handing out wine. So I was like, right, I guess I'm on. I'm drinking white wine today. That's my drink. I'm going to drink as much white wine. Might have been rosé, actually. That's the thing I'm going to be doing today. And then when I went out in London with SI, uh, with the SI lot and that, and the creators, first drink I had on the Friday night was a mango cider. So... Man was on the mango ciders for the rest of the night. It's just how these things work. It's the first kettle ever seen in Qatar, yeah. How are you liking the Romano drama? It's, it is just comedy, isn't it? It's just full on... I mean, I'll be level with you, as always. I don't care that much, but... Um, Marcelo, you're going to need to be more specific. Can you narrow down Marcelo out of the 450 people? You'll let the man go through. I mean, it is very nice. It's the first time I'd ever... The left back. Oh, I was in... Uh, uh, he is still at Real Madrid, right? <laughs> oh, my God. Where's man playing these days? Is he Olympiacos? Oh, okay. There he is. Got him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, absinthe. I remember my mate went to Portugal. This is when we were, like, 18. Came back with, like, a bottle of absinthe. And at the time, obviously, it was like... Oh, you know... I say 18, I was, like, 16. a &L. Apparently, yeah, the game's like... You could probably do it, right? You can look at everyone in the a &L. I wonder what happened if I searched for that, <laughs> honestly. Oh, dear. skibbity bop bop God. That's a blast from the past, isn't it? So that's Marcelo. God, his attributes are still outrageously good. Even his pace still isn't awful, right? But he's technically still so good. Let's just look up A. Too many matching results for FM FM's just like, don't do this. Don't take the piss. <laughs> just... Have you not learned from last time? Uh, did Wazza, did Marcelo. I'll give you a points map for that. Oh, we're playing against Ica next. Okay, and then we've got another two weeks off. He's the worst cat. It's done now. It's happened. I've shit all over your dreams. <laughs> what about A? Oh, sorry. I have to add the Y. <sighs> it can't even be done. <laughs> Never an E. Maybe it just doesn't like one letters. 
Ah, they don't like single letter. They've built a regex and everything. Oh, we've actually got international call-ups. That's good news. I want this damn youth intake preview. When did you guys get your youth intake previews for this save? Did you ever come to Portugal? No, but I would really like to go to Madeira still. Not Obviously, I can't go to a, um, a uni out game anymore. Sag. But I would still like to go. Just because it looks nice. Yeah, honestly, it, I almost don't want England to win it. I don't want a fucking asterisk. Like, <laughs> well, I do kind of want it. Do you know what? Right, this is what I would say. I've never felt more unified. But not between England, but with the other nations in a World Cup. <laughs> Before one. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's kind of unified in how much of a farce it is. And I feel like everyone's kind of just taking it, treating it like a friendly tour. Almost like a kind of... um tongue-in-cheek almost I, I feel like the the heated nature of it is not going to be anywhere near as i don't know it feels like a fake world cup it's like a, a wish.com world cup i've got even in the work screen oh unlucky <laughs> madeira i don't know madeira does look pretty nice i'd like to see madeira um and playing a lot okay yeah my regularly scheduled competition there uh wow they want to win that's fine we should probably do that is, it is literally that. It's 8 out of 10 cats does World Cup. Yeah. Some unusual winner. Yeah, I'd much rather see like... Oh, Japan would be a really fun winner. <laughs> Qatar 2022. Cold Wap. Is that like Wasp Brem? <laughs> yeah, it's like a worldwide Nations League. <laughs> You're just a shit Nations League. Yeah, the accommodation... Oh, God, it's so fire festival, it actually hurts. I'm legitimately expecting Ja Rule to be on the pitch for the first game. And let's be honest, Qatar would probably try to nationalize him and get him in the squad. Everyone watch, of course they will. Plus, because remember, Denmark are the Dark Horses and whatnot. Denmark do have a pretty, pretty cool squad, though. Uh, oh, so Panache's back. I don't know what his obsession with it. I know we probably should play him sometimes, but Booty's rating has been genuinely excellent in this team lately. He's got one of the highest assists per 90 minutes of anyone in the team, other than Palantir, amazingly, who I think I'm definitely going to keep in that role. Stieber and Sissoko is fine. Olaf Fudenwork right back. He's going to have to be there because obviously Van Gnechten's not there, is he? What a signing he was, by the way. Whoever recommended Van Gnechten to me for that loan spell, big shout. God, there's an opening ceremony? No. I've never understood opening ceremonies of any sporting event, in fairness. That was Sam Marino sent Flo Rider to Europe. That happened? Huh. you think I would have noticed that, given, you know, my extreme love of Eurovision. It's within four weeks. That's the other thing. But the fact that the Premier League's literally just stopped a week ago. And now, here we are. We thought this was a good idea. Oh, God. But what I would say, though, right? That was this year. Ah, yes. Unfortunately, I've had... Despite being a Eurovision aficionado, I've had terrible luck when it comes to watching Eurovision in the last couple of years. So I've not seen a Eurovision in three years. The last three. So there was the cancelled one, obviously, because of the first year of COVID. The second year after that, there was a streamer showdown during the Eurovision, so I couldn't watch it then. And then this year, I was at a wedding that night, so I missed it then as well. <laughs> I haven't watched Eurovision. Last time I watched Eurovision was at a fancy dress party, where we all went as different countries that were in the Eurovision. That was really fun. Yeah, they get to upgrade his OS. Yeah, new firmware, innit? Nice for your ears. No, it was it was a, terrible for my ears. What country did I go as? Uh, Poland, I think. Because it was during the time when I was um, doing my Polonia Warszawa save. So I was able to wear my... Or rather, just after it. What a lovely finish from Panache. Can't do it. It's not the same. I get it all spoiled. So legitimately, I got back to my hotel room at this from this wedding. And I was laying on the bed. This was before I'd taken pictures of the giant standing fan that I really enjoyed. <laughs> and then bought one. And my my friend's group chat, because they were all watching it. Because uh, they weren't at the wedding. This was a, It was like my other my friend that none of my other friends knew, really. And they were all talking about I was like, this can't be real. They're, they're taking the piss that England are doing well or Great Britain are doing well. I was like, no, this isn't happening. I woke up the next morning. I was like, well, holy shit. Wedding on the same day. You can't do that. That reminds me, actually. There's a. I'm going to a wedding next April. 
That better not be anything important. <laughs> I've got to find a combination for that as well. At least I don't have to be best man at it, though. Pog, though, is doing a Bible reading at the wedding. So that's good. Hey, Jay. I don't know what she's going to be, like, reading, other than something from the Bible. Who's getting married? Uh, it's Pog's friend from oh, oh. university. Cooper, take off Jackamura, thank you for the follow. It's going to be nice going to a wedding where I don't have to do anything. The last couple I've been to, I've had to do things. Don't like that. Actually, I do like that. I quite enjoy it. <laughs> it's quite it's quite humbling where people are like, hey, look, come do this thing at my wedding. I'm like, oh. <laughs> look at me. Right. Our own PPDA is actually really high, considering. From Gideon723. <laughs> yeah. This is the thing, right? Th this is a conversation Pog and I actually had yesterday. Thank you, Viking. She was like, oh, well, this is going to be in like a church and everything. Maybe I should wear a top that's less like low cut and booby like she wore to my previous, uh, to the previous wedding we went to. And I was just like, why? Like, why does that matter? She's just like, yeah, but it's, it's churches. I was like, so who cares? I, and then I was like, you could do a Bible reading. It'll be fine. I believe it was David that said, and low cut dress. And that's fine. Like, I don't think, I don't see what the issue is. She should use God words. True. The book of Matthew. Maybe. I don't think God would judge. God loves titties. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> to leave their weddings. <laughs> oh. I was a bit sad at the last wedding I went to because um the groom whose best man I was, um, he was he'd stressed a lot. He's a, a big warrior. And he'd basically done all the wedding planning. Like legitimately pretty much the entire wedding planning and he was completely like wiped out by the time it so by like eight o'clock he was like going off to bed. So I didn't actually get to spend a lot of time and get drunk with him. But Pog and I did get drunk with his um his husband's maid of honor and it was fucking amazing. If he didn't why didn't he if he didn't, why did he make them? Precisely. God created boobs. Also, this is an unbelievable pass from Sissoko. <laughs> was it Steva? Oh it's Steva, look at that. Volleyed through ball. First time finish from Sissoko. Lovely goal. Both of the wingers teaming up. Oh, welcome in, Repthor. That was so... I love that it was both of the wide players, again, linking. We're 2-0 up against Ica here. This is just superb. I'm genuinely loving the way we play football at the moment. This has got a penalty written all over, hasn't it? No? Wow, they, they double teamed him. Hey, Borg. Repthor, thank you for the follow. Wait. I open my own hotel. So <laughs> and there's our regularly scheduled first shot on target against this goal, I suspect. Might be offside? No. Something's missing. This needs a little extra. Don't tell me that was actually their first shot on target. Okay, this is getting a bit ridiculous now. <laughs> Every game. The jankiness is definitely a thing, uh, as is evidenced by our goalkeepers literally not saving anything. The amount of game I think that might be the fourth or fifth game this season that our opponents have scored their only shots on target against us. <laughs> Which, in a way, we're still winning the matches, so I don't care too much. But I must say that it's starting to get a bit much. It feels like no matter how well you set your team up to defend, if you have a game like this, it will just give them one chance and they'll score it. But, you know, we win in the matches anyway. It won't download as a file, but as an internet explorer. Okay. I I'm not sure how that's even possible. Um like, again. You literally just go to this folder and click this. And it... And then go download. It it cannot possibly save as an Internet Explorer. I don't understand how that's possible. But again, I'm not compu as computer literate as someone else. Uh, so maybe there is a way that that could somehow happen. But I don't quite know how. Clean sheet. True. I don't know what his clean sheet bonuses is like. 23.6 is the latest version. Yes. Um, Which I believe I am now rocking. Because I think I updated before I made that video. You're getting the same. Really? Huh. That's bizarre. Um, best thing I could say, if you're having these issues, is now we have a section in the Discord specifically for this skin. And Saz will be able to check in there uh, rather than him having to reply to all the YouTube comments because it was blocking him from responding to comments because they thought it was spam. There's a lot of fuckery in each game. Like, um, It feels like we haven't even considered that many shots. But when you look at things like this, uh, like advanced goalkeeping, like, Roofs is still okay, but look at the save percentage. Because he's not getting a chance to... Hang on, there's an expected save percentage? That's kind of sick. 
I had not noticed that stat before. I do love that on this screen now, it actually explay, it displays the stats underneath each player when you hover them. Love that. So there you go. Big thing I liked. But it is weird, the amount of goals we've conceded from that. Like, expected goals against per game is weirdly high. It's a shame you can't... Is there a stat that shows shots on target faced? Probably not, right? That seems a bit of a niche one. Actually, if it's going to be anywhere, it'll be in here, right? Uh, I'm just looking for anything that begins with an S. It seems unlikely I'll be able to find... Oh my god. I actually can. So we've only conceded 44 shots on target against us. It's annoying that these you don't get good co you don't get good like context stats because obviously I mean, that's more than we thought. Hmm. How many goals we conceded? Seventeen off a of forty-four shot. But then Halidas. Where the hell are Halidash? Oh, they're there. Sixteen. So yeah, maybe it's just recency bias. Maybe I only notice it. In I'm getting Barda Meinhoffed by random, like, conceded goals. As an FMF file. Yeah. I wonder what's happening. It, it could be, like, an issue with the browser, maybe? Like, it's set to... I don't know. Most of you get off. Yeah, maybe. Point is, we're winning matches anyway. How do I sound these Wonder Kids? Um, basically... It, it depends. Which wonder kids are you trying to sign, Heavy Metal? Uh, like, if you name them. Because I'm not great at this, but it will depend. But basically, players have a set of things they look for when it comes to club. Barter Meinhof. So, the Barter Meinhof phenomenon is um, like a psychological thing where basically you become aware of something and then you start seeing it everywhere. Uh, I believe they were a terrorist or like a group in the East or West Germany. Point is, it's, it's called the Barter Meinhof phenomenon. I don't know why I used that as an example there, but like, um, that's what I was, the point I was trying to make. Point for Freiburg! <laughs> is there a striker? Um, like I said, Basil, whenever stream effects is, um, oh, hang on. Yeah. Whenever stream effects is updated so that it can actually, basically, if I update Streamlabs, it'll, Streamlabs, OBS, it'll break all of the way my stream works. So un unless stream effects gets updated to work with OBS 28, I can't switch over. The moment that's fine and works, done overnight. And we'll get the copyright free music in, or out rather. A cockroach crawl near me. Leaf. No. <laughs> uh, no. See them everywhere. You surely never used to see them. Yeah, exactly. It was like when, um, one of the best examples of this, um, if maybe you have a health concern, like say you've been told that, oh, I don't fucking know, like, okay, this happened with me. So when I was back in like 2015, when I got quite ill and I was suffering from all those um, neurological issues, because a lot of things like that are associated with things like MS and uh, ALS, I would start seeing things to do with those topics everywhere even though they were occurring at a frequency no more yeah than they were before but that's basically what Bader Meinhof is um 1970s there you go murder politicians there but that the, it was a psychological phenomenon that was named after them for some reason frequency illusion yeah frequency bias but doesn't it sound so much better if you say Bader Meinhof phenomenon <laughs> <laughs> it makes you sound so much more small. Fuck off. Chat, the stud has been... That's his career. That's literally his career. Have you ever had the bard of Meinhof phenomenon over your bard of... <laughs> Maybe. Just not seeing the bard of Meinhof phenomenon everywhere. Oh... At least my friends admit they're... <laughs> that is such a throwback, Viking. Holy shit. You're well posh, mate. You know it. Ah, oh, such a shame. Best of the rest. Best of the rest seems to vary depending on what league you're in because sometimes there's one that says challenge for the title. So I've seen best of the rest be like fourth before. Ah, Trying to convince him not to. You know I will. I will. 
Come back fighting. <laughs> Expression. <laughs> Put a real dampener on things for me. Well, yes. Was it Raiden? Gonna be felt. Time and space. <laughs> Legitimately, man's gonna have to. I mean, rocked by it. There you go. Even when healed, may longer, longer allow him to cope. Plus, he's going to be like 40. Do I have fibromyalgia? I do not have fibromyalgia, no. Um, I was diagnosed with um, like a post... It was called like post-viral syndrome. Basically, I had a... I had a... This sounds like FM. I'd had like a viral infection, but they couldn't work out what it was because it was no longer in my system. But it left me with like weird neurological problems. And then I was down like, diagnosed with something called benign fasciculation syndrome. <laughs> Which, again, is more of an absence of a diagnosis than a natural diagnosis. But that was what they used to sort of explain a lot of the neuro, uh, the neuro, neurological problems I was suffering from. And sometimes it gives me something called palesthe palesthesia. It's, yeah, fell out of a lot. <laughs> Might as well have done, innit? Long term, <laughs> it's the jet skis, innit? Uh, yes, so, basically, uh, why are you doing this? There's uh, a section in the Discord that has uh, we've now built for the skin so you could ask in there and saz might be able to provide better advice hmm. it will tell you oh really i didn't actually know oh god not oh for god's sake so we've lost bognar kovach mutin banyoka now and obviously the stud the game is really doing everything it can to god who's gonna play up front for us i guess this is a chance for petra sir right uh, okay, yeah, these are all the... None of them actually got picked up by other clubs. We can't sign any of them because we have no money. Samodi, oh god. No relationship. Oh, that's his... His agent's called Fanny. Good old Fanny, Fanny Gooley ass. Well, I guess I'm going to call him Yellow Ass now. Negative opinion of Thias Freeze already. How? Wait, hang on. He has a negative opinion of my assistant. Why does he like... I open my own As Magnar. Thank you for the follow. Why does his agent not like my assistant? <laughs> palesthesia. I, I don't know if it's actually pronounced like that. It's essentially... I think it's called palesthesia. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a, a lady. But why does she hate Thighs Free? Is she asked my text Thighs Free is his ex. Thighs, what have you been up to? Hey, eh? He's been playing mind games. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay, let's ask... Let's send Nemet round. It hasn't worked yet, but it could. Nope, all right. Gone straight for Furious. Have you considered being better? You're 33, Ben. I open my own Good. Hotel. That's sorted. He's all... I like that that does work a little bit more. D1 Nows, thank you for the follow. Uh, and now Shuri... Oh, God. Hang on. What's, what's his agreed playing time? What is your agreed playing time? Breakthrough Prospect. But that kind of... Other than Youngster, we can't really have... Bottom line off in full swing. I just recommend a play couple. See? It's a thing. It's a thing. Someone is clearly trying to stop the booty pest train, and I'm not having it. Um, need to be patient. You're being unrealistic. You're a Breakthrough Prospect. Like... If we had any cup matches, I'd love to play you in them. But we got knocked out by a top flight side. What do you want from me? It's the standard sort of thing where the squad roles are just utterly busted, as always. Oh, what was the lookup? My apologies. Uh, oh, I didn't know it's the Aaron A. Aronson. Firstly. I'm, I'm susp... Okay, we're going to have to keep going. There's still people? His middle name isn't Aaron, is it? Maximilian. I guess Max has to come from somewhere, right? I just wasn't expecting Maximilian. Andre Lucas. Sorry, not Andre. Andre. With the Onsen. So this is on Andre Lucas Gutierrez. Wait, he's why is he wearing a Real Madrid shirt? He came through at Cast uh, Espanol. I'll be down. I'll tell you now, Emu, he's not in the database, sadly. So I can refund your points immediately. It's a shame, though. He's a pushcast war winner. Yeah, it's just a shame that he's not done anything since then. It was it or not been that excellent for us. Espinel's in Barcelona, yeah. 
They're sort of the second team of the city. Yeah, I've seen a lot of stuff. I've seen a lot of people complaining about the exploring their options stuff. It's happening too much. His father played for them. Wait, is this Eidegger Johnson's son? A similar type of player to Christopher Niemann. I haven't actually seen that before. Hmm. I guess the reason he doesn't have favoured person... Oh, maybe he does, but we just don't know about it yet. I don't know. That was, I didn't know... I, wasn't Eidegger Johnson... Didn't he come on as a sub for Iceland once to replace his dad? That's what, it's like three generations. I suppose it's Iceland, right? He's Romanian. Wait, who's Romanian? Move with Martin Braithwaite. <laughs> hey, Blobsdale. Yeah, the, the the issue with the exploring options is definitely a, an issue that needs to be looked into because I've seen a lot of people complaining about it. And I think that is something that has to look at. The last look, I don't think he was, I think he was Icelandic, right? Uh, wait, hang on. There's, oh, Lubic. God, there's, oh, he's a free agent. 25. He's like the opposite of the neck. His neck has like real depth to it on the side. Let's bring him in on trial. Because his attributes are insane. <laughs> like, and our current goalkeeping situation is a little bit tetchy here on the... Yeah. Yeah, I think they need to look at that. Like, not every player is going to behave like that. And it seems like it's happening too often. Uh, that's a long name. Giuliani Ben David Dos Santos. What do we reckon? Maybe Suriname second nationality? Oh, Verde. That Verdean would make sense. Classy, classy deep neck, innit? it? What's his lookup? Um, no need. I'll uh, do it in a sec. Maybe he was born there or something? <sighs> hmm. Um, so it was Gutjonsson, wasn't it? Andre Lucas. Hey, Eric. This chap here. No, no, his international debut for Iceland was against Romania. Mili surely. Million Manhoof. What a name. Million Manhoof sounds like a Dutch game show. I've been on for long. Oh, about two hours, Eric. It, it sounds like some like weird Dutch game show. I'm here for it. Million Manhoof. That's really saying something. It's like, what is in their genes, man? Incredible. Oscar, he's very good. Schwartal. The Million Man Hoof. Oh, Brumby. Sorry, Brum. What is it? Hang on. Brumba. It's the D Danish wise. That's a madness. That's something I've never really got used to is Danish wise. What a strange... Man Hoof sounds like the male equivalent of the camel tag. In it. It really shouldn't, Luke. It doesn't. I'm always... What? Iceland. What? Isn't there like a thing in Iceland where there's like a, a database that's designed so that when people start dating, they can check to make sure they're not related? <laughs> Camelota! Yes! If you actually pronounce... Uh, Brumbu? Hang on. Brumbu. Brumbu? Brumbu. Maybe. That's the closest I'm going to get. It's not designed for that. <laughs> really shot my man hoof in it. Last one. Brumbu. Yeah. It was the, it's the wise that was through me. Uh, that's all of those guys leaving. Potential issue with Nemet. You were... Mm, but you've been really bad. This is the problem, my friend. Always two-footed. No, I haven't actually, but make, remind me to sign some more. We're going to ask... Apparently, I'm going to ask... Why would I ask Emmett? To, fuck it. Emmett, what you got for me? <laughs> Emmett's like, What? Go on, send Emmett round. He'll fix it. Imagine if he did. Stop rolling your R's. So, Brun, Brunbu. Yeah, it's, it's hard to not roll my R's because I'm so used to saying things like Tromsø, which I know in standard Norwegian probably doesn't have rolled R's, but I believe in northern Norway, they do. So everyone I spoke to in town always rolled their R's when they said Tromsø. And, yeah. No dear. Supposed importance. Well, have you considered being good? You're pretty much a score. Oh, I've just absolutely put him in his place. Uh, okay, keeper's coming in for a trial. 
Haven't for a little while. Never know. Can't go wrong. Check your relation to that person. That's kind of sick, actually. It's like ancestry, but like, well, it's literally that, isn't it? Logan Sargent is F1 now. Wait, really? For which team? Uh, who are we playing? Oh, it's the... Uh, this is it. This is the big top of the... T oh, Williams. Incestry. <laughs> In it. Ah, good old Wallum. This is the top one. Had to really terribly... Just call it Bromby. Just really over-anglicize it. Uh, we're playing against a Borondaby. Right. So without Panache, that's not happening because Sissoko is not a good striker, but he's so good out wide. But this means Petroso's in. Palacar's there's fine. This is not happening. Booty's been so good lately. He's got an average of a 7.78 over the last five. Um, I see one of the highest average rates. It's only weighed down by that start. Oh, Van, Van Gerechten is back as well. Kata's back from his loan spell. After whole... Uh, not loan spell, from his suspension. And he's hosting the World Cup today. Sword. It does. It just sounds like somewhere in the Dales. Emma Dales actually set in Bromby. Oh. Hang on, is that Laszlo? Oh, Ben Stutch. To the cross country. <laughs> How much is the Royal suitability to RPM? Uh, how do you mean? As in Mohammed Hussein? Or Booty? In training tab? Uh, hang on, training tab for who? Booty. We probably should start training him there, shouldn't we? Or am I ever? This is the thing, right? There's really no glaring gaps in his attributes that make me think that he's not very good for RPM. Like, nines are still very competent in that role. It's just FM is basically like... like there's, it's not like there's loads of like sixes and fives in there. He has nothing... None of the key roles, sorry, none of the key attributes for this role are below a nine, I think. I was an eight there on balance. It's kind of mad that that would make him a half-star player. Let's actually praise his training because he's over an eight. It's worth it to get the extra boost in uh, that. You know, did I just... Leadership course for booty. That might be a good idea. I don't want stamina. Uh, yeah, pope. but it's not like it's awful, is it? It's still a nine. Uh, Duram Sua. Thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, he is actually extra. Ah, he's f five pens. Don't get booty on a near pens, but boy, God, can he slap a free kicker boot. Uh, to be fair, both goals he scored for us have been absolute twatters as well. It does seem like until you reach a certain point, FM's just like, no, like Cameron says, it's like the advanced, it's like the complete forward of midfield roles, except I actually like RPMs. Yeah, the kits from Kit Basher. There's a pack in the Discord. You can actually download the ones I'm using. Uh, oh, hang on. One thing I've not been paying attention to, which might have been why we've been a bit lackluster lately, is trigger press. We've not been doing that as much. I think that really does help us win the ball. Not that we haven't been winning the ball back as much, but if we won away at Spartacus here, then, you know, I think we're Spartacus by then. But doing it without... Panache is going to be a bit of a struggle. That said, Petroso has actually got one of the highest minutes per goal rates in this league. Genuine question not to be annoying. Oh, God. Willfully out of shape. You'd think so, but it doesn't appear to. In fact, I think it has more benefits than negatives. To the point where at certain points in games, I've actually seen this where one of our strikers is standing on their goalkeeper when they've got the ball in their own defensive third. And it's basically, a, it's cutting off a lot of passing lanes a lot of the time and allowing us to win the ball back in really good positions. So I feel like it's a, oh God. I feel like on the balance, it seems to be more positive than negative. And given the way we played this season, I think that's kind of paid out a little bit. Oh, here we go. Sissoko, let me guess, penalty in the first minute or a goal. That'd be good. That's a lovely pass. Sissoko flicks it down. Booty score. <gasps> no way. Oh, imagine if that was on side. Look at this. Watch what the player in the center does here. Booty hits it first time. He just back, he just volleyed a back heel there and it actually went in, but it was offside. That would have been one of the best goals I've ever seen. Oh. 
this team plays some absolutely scintillating football at times. It's that's just so good to watch. Jeez. Callum, thank you for the follow. I yeah, it was um Sissoko that was the one off, wasn't he, from the initial pass? An unnecessary. Oh, hang on, this could be in a good spot for Booty here. I think this might be in. You know, it's, it's a great position. The keeper's a bit off his line there. Oh, it's a bad effort. Go on, cross it. Oh shit. Okay, now we're out. Now we're in trouble. We need players back, and we need them back fast. Okay, right. <laughs> Everyone's a little bit out of position here. Just bring him down. Just just tackle him. Oh, God. Penalty incoming. Okay, it's over the bar. We're fine. Joel Linton starts a friendly. <laughs> then there will be words. <laughs> Gotta capitalize friendly. Maybe they're just doing like a YouTube title. Gotta pick the right word to capitalize. It's very important for the meta or something. Wow, this has actually been... This is the first game for a while that we've actually looked a little bit challenged in. I think if we get out of this game without losing, I wonder if it's because of the system they're playing. This might be the type of game where we switch to... Uh... You should... I still think it's good, Adam. There's some issues, I admit. But I think there's a... they've done a lot right. Huh. Um. I think second half... I'm still going to turn the... Oh, no. That on. But we're going to do the... What was it we were calling it? Um, oh, Ca Merchants of Chaos. We just need to create a little bit of chaos in the second half because the more measured approach just isn't creating what I want. So a bit of chaos for 45 minutes I think would do us a bit of good. Besides, even if we lost this game, we'd still be three points clear at the top and I feel like we're better than most other sides in this league. We've earned the right to be in this position. Oh, that's a good ball. But the keeper's there. Unnecessary dive. But I'm here for it. Here we go. Let the chaos begin. Oh, Steven can sit straight through. Petra slows in. Round the keeper. Oh, you have merchants of filth, more like. Ilan Petroso, seven minutes into the second half, gives us the lead away at Spartacus. This, I mean, obviously, this wouldn't end their title challenge or anything, but it would send us nine points clear. The moment that I saw Stiba get the ball here, I knew that Petroso was going to go straight into that channel, but the fact that he found the pass, and look at the dink as well. Absolute, oh, such a composed little dink as well. He's a really top striker. I think chaos is the key. If you're struggling in a match, then trying to force the chaos, which is what I've done in the second half here, is absolutely imperative. Just throwing the ball into good areas and hoping for the best. Like, we've got our nice ticky-tacker, beautiful style of football, and that works sometimes. But today, it's not really been our day. So just throwing shit at the wall and just lobbing balls up to the strikers to try to create chances like this is exactly what we're doing as Palinchar's through, and it should have been 2-0. Just throw a bit of chaos at Knicks. It's all good. I mean, we've been... We've absolutely turned it on in the second half here. Second goal would be really nice, though, just to put them in their place a little bit. Precisely, yeah. Pushing higher up to close the midfield is a game changer. Yeah, we were actually quite pushed up in... But we're actually, in, in both versions of the tactic, to be fair. Uh, now then. What can I do? I, I might give um, Kovac a little bit of a run out here. And maybe even give Nemet, because he was complaining. Booty's had a slightly poor end. He's on a booking. So maybe Meze. We'll leave it at that for the moment. Bear in mind, the only change that this tactic... So the, where it differs is that we've obviously got um, the transitions are to distribute to the striker, but also... Um, I think that's it, actually. Oh, yeah, it turns off play out of defense. It's a bit more like route one, just to get the ball into dangerous areas faster. Because sometimes, you know, we can get away with playing our lovely football, but occasionally you just need a little bit of brute force to create those types of chances. And it's nice that he was able to get on the end of it. And if we win this game 1-0 and go nine points clear at the top of the league, that would be spectacularly good at this stage because it would just allow us to sort of spend the rest of the season basically managing that gap. And there we go. Huge win. We didn't even concede a shot on target in this game. That's massive. Petroso filling in for Panache, as he will be for the next few weeks, has just come up with a massive one there. That's big. Nine points clear at the top. And now 11 points clear of the uh, promotion spots. I think we just have to be average for the rest of the season. Not that I want to be average, of course. Yeah, we're walking this more than I expected. Eight. That's eight straight wins as well. Pair of the week news. It's never us, is it? 
suitable to fund a re... How dare you, Shandor? Don't you know who he is? How dare you? I love how barely any of our players are even in this list at all. Like, not on the top goal scorers list. Not on the assists list. The only one we've got on this entire thing here is Bognar here. And then Petrosol on player of the match. You can take level except for in the editor. Um, the closest you're going to get to being able to figure stuff like that out is if you look in facilities, you can see like the, ex the youth recruitment, I suppose. That's usually a good sign of what's to come in theory. Uh, Noppert. Andres Noppert of... Oh, he's a Herobin. Yeah, so I don't know why, Marius, basically. Uh, they have one if you go to their profile, but for some reason on the league table, they don't have a badge. I think there might be an error in the config file for the badge pack I've got. I'll have to go in and have a little gander. So this is he. And do you know what? Do you, chat. Do you know what my favorite thing about Heron Veen is? Just, I don't know. Just The thing I love about Heron Veen is that they, they love the club so much that they've covered the whole kit in hearts and the badge in hearts. And I just think that's a really nice touch to... Get the fans on your side. Don't you don't you agree? I think you'd agree. I'm just gonna take a few sips of my drink while we just discuss this for a second. <sighs> Credits to chat. No one took the bait that time. <laughs> <laughs> this is the skit. It's um, Saz23, Ari. That might be the first time I've said... Damn it! <laughs> that might be the first time I've ever said that on stream and no one's taken the bait. Usually there's someone that's unfamiliar with my stupid sarcasm. They're like, red baked beans? I might use that one next time, actually. That'll really piss people off. Uh, mm, let's just yell at his coach for a bit. It's my fault. Take care of it. Good. I'll be watching closely. I won't be. For Halloween kit, true. That'd be kind of sick, actually. We've had 40 yellow cards this season. We're, we're a dirty bunch. I guess that ha what happens when we press so unbelievably high. Wow, it looks like Pushcats are going to win the league. They look very, very strong. And it does... Ooh, I mean, it looks like Vashesh are gone. But everybody else could be any of them, really. Kidneys, yeah. 40 yellow cards. Damn, we have 41 points after 16 games. That's mental. Loving that. Oh, we've actually got a bit of a, a tough... I say tough run. The, the games are less than a week apart for once. Heads up about Port. Oh, God. Why does Fanny Gulias represent every single player we have? I might have to start talking to their agent instead because our Nemeth is not doing a lot. Uh, that's usually the one to go for. There we go. You know, Freezers don't love the club so much, they put the Herbie in hearts. I know, it's mad, isn't it, that they would do such a thing, but it's true. This is canon now. Come look at an eggplant's true. I'd respect it, if nothing else. Freeze confident squad, good. To oh, no, not another. Wow, we are getting absolutely effed on the injuries lately, aren't they? Why don't they let daylight come into your room? Um... Can you see what that does to the camera? And the, uh... <laughs> and I am a vampire. But it's a bit of both. It's not exactly excellent for, uh, video. Because it's extremely bright. Because the sun shines directly through that window. So it just washes everything out. And you get no kind of feel for it, basically. But yeah, I am now dying. So if you'll excuse me, to heaven with me. That's what I actually look like. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I had to, I had to close it because my skin was starting to burn off. But that's basically the reason. If you if you've seen clips from the very very early streams, like the ones right at the start of the pandemic in 2020, you'll see what that looked like all the time. Because I just used to have everything open. I had no backlighting. I had a shitty webcam I was using, and uh, yeah, it did not look good. Let's put it that way. Although I did look better because I was probably four stone lighter. So there's that. 
You take one, you know, the good Lord giveth and the good Lord taketh away and whatnot. Hey, Zila. Oh, everything is very good. Apart from the injuries, that, they're, they're very bad. But everything else is very good. Uh, we don't want food hatch up front. I'm happy to give Petroso another run. Like, he scored in the last game. I think he deserves his chance to keep going. This obsession that my assistant... I say my assistant. This obsession that Thais Freeze has with trying to put Mohamed Hose... Is that just because he's on loan and he feels bad? Why is Regan Booty the worst player? Pfft, worst player. Lies. Man's on a 7.54. He's the best player. And I will not hear this slander. Why is Steve on... Uh, he's a bit knackered, actually. I don't know how we're going to cope with this when we get the huge fixture congestion later. Star rating is a scam. What is going on here? Oh, it's the la- I thought that was like a box. <laughs> it's just the screen behind it. I am a moron. Yeah, it really doesn't seem to assess that properly, does it? Heavenly Father me. <laughs> uh, it clearly works very, very well. Um, we've already heard a lot about how RPMs are very powerful this year, but it, it really does show to me that they, they really are. Yeah, Booty's been our best player. One of our best players. I'd say Booty, Bognar, and Sissoko's so good. I think getting those guys in has really helped us, but... Ooh, DD starting left back. Okay, that could be a bit of a problem. Like, in this team, Sissoko's been excellent. Kovac has been good. Booty's been... Carter's been decent, too. Booty was... The, the only real problem for us has been the goalkeepers. 397 days. That's very specific. Is there like some window that closes in exactly 397 days? Speaking of windows, Booty might be about to slack a ball through this window here. Come on, Regan. Give us another banger. Oh, oh, so close. Oh, I feel like he was, he's not had a banging goal for like at least seven or eight matches now. He's due one. That was so close. Maybe 12. I think we're unlikely to see him ever get a good rating there, but I feel like later down the line people that we bring in for that role potentially could achieve quite good ratings there how many burger vans well you've got to have i think it's just what fm does when there's no asset available so it just goes hey you know what a burger van that'll be fine just stick as many burger vans in here as possible that and a lot of burger vans are required because of gideon he needs to constantly be satiated through burgers and the, the blood of um the innocents in order to keep his power so it's it's, it's, it's a catch-22, really. The club has to sort of sell for these sort of things. Okay, that's... That was a poor... We might have to go Merchants of Chaos again in the second half here. Worked for us last time. I wonder if it's because Panache's not in the team and it's changing the way we're having to play. It's, I need to change uh, Merchants of Chaos to stick... Um, dribble less on in the default. Remind me after the game. To what power? Oh, that's just Gideon. What's in the burgers? Good question. Um, many have speculated. Local feral children. Uh, bicycles. I believe someone found part of a 1993 Nissan S Skyline in there. It's it's all a bit of a mystery. Oh, he's through. Yeah, the stadium's... <laughs> the stadiums will... I, I don't see them changing anytime soon. That would, I think, require an entirely new graphics engine almost to see the changes to the stadiums. But you're right, they are a bit mental, aren't they? So it's like Burger King. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had Burger King. Oh, God. Oh, wow. He's actually missed a chance. <laughs> I found God in mine. I see you've been to KFC. That was a big chance. Though. They actually didn't score for once. But luckily, our biggest rivals are also losing. Say also losing. They are losing. We just need a cheeky little goal. Get some injuries back. Get to the winter break. Allow those players to be fresh again. Kovac. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Oh, what a touch. <laughs> How was that not a foul? <laughs> he just pushed him over. Is there a plan to get a Gideon emote? There is a plan. Uh, the plan was actually for by me before we started the save. As you'll see it in chat. It's SYC Gideon. <laughs> Escar go burger. Not really, no. Get some Gideons in chat, Chato. It's probably just because of the way it looks a little bit. But we are going to have a proper Gideon thingy as well. That's just going to take a little bit longer to get. I actually looked at getting someone... I was going to commission like a metal song about Gideon. But 
weirdly, none of them that I looked at seem to provide vocals, which is kind of like the point. Even if I wrote them. Ah, right there. That's another one of those weird things that defenders do where they just don't move. And we are losing. We're actually losing a game. I, I think that's, I keep forgetting to do it stronger, but I am going to do that. Uh, luckily, our main rivals are now 4-1 now, but we are currently losing a game. First one since the opening day of the season. Concerning. And of course, it was their only shot on target of the match. Booty's still been one of the better players on the pitch, annoyingly. Not even annoyingly, he just has. Why did Vanetta not start? Actually, wait. Futach would be way better for that. Bit annoying, isn't it? It's the fact that when the long ball comes, it's because the defenders will sometimes just stand perfectly still for no reason. At least they've had another shot. That's an irritating defeat. Um, because yet again, it's like your opponents don't get any chances, but they'll score them. That's it. They had two good chances in this game. Still a bit annoying, though, to lose that. But it happens. You're going to lose games sometimes, no matter how well you play. Luckily, FM was nice to us and decided to give us a cheeky little, unless they won at the last 6-1... Dear Lord, Spike has just got humped 6-1 by Shaq Vari. All right, we take those. We're still nine points clear, and we're still 10 points clear of um, Haladash. So really, no harm done. It was more of a missed opportunity than anything else, but that's fine. Good God. But it is our first defeat since the opening day of the season. We've been on a 15-game unbeaten run. Uh, proud of four. I love how he says that after we defeat. After we defeat? After we are defeated. Like, what's the situation looking like as far as... Look at that. We're XGY. Sorry, expected points wise. We're seven points clear at the top. Must you not forget. At least we can boot isn't low enough. Like, yeah. I do want to get the stuff. I did order, though, the goose hat. The, the goose hat that Bay found has been ordered. And it's, it's going to take a remarkably long time to come. It's not going to come till like the 28th to the 2nd of December. Like 20th of November to the 2nd of December, which is a shame. Shakvar. It could be because of the name fix I use. Dribble Lesson Tactic 2. Yes. Not that it did great. Uh, from the vid. Oh, I uh, for some reason. I don't know why. I can't click that link. That's bizarre. Uh. One sec. So we put. It's good uh, you came in summer. Nice. That's what we want. In winter, we'll that. it can get very train. depressing. <laughs> oh, what did I just press there? Hang on. What did I just. I've just pressed something. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Clean your mic. No. <laughs> Fred, thank you for the follow. I think I'll honestly just be easier for me to just get another mic cover for this. People telling me to clean my mic is going to be yet more reason to not do it. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. Because as you know, I am one of those people. I cannot be told I'm petty like that. This is how we end up with FC Voldemort and the like. Oh, God. Some terrible training ratings in there. But also a lot of good training ratings. Okay, at least we're back down to one game a week. When is this? I was told, what was it? The 4th of December. A contrarian. I, not really a contrarian, no. Um, it's more a case of when people... Like, demand something of you that's kind of petty and irrelevant. I will go out of my way to not do it. It's like when you get people that come into chat and demand me to search for Arda Gula, for example. So Panache should be fit soon, right? Oh, still not fit. Maybe not. It's going to grow a mushroom. Maybe. We can start our own little culture here. It's always a possibility. I want to get the youth and take preview. Why? Man has played virtually every game and his manager's like, yeah, but, you know, wouldn't it be good if he played him as a striker? No, he's played like shit. <laughs> no. See? Precisely. It's like the Pulisic thing and the FC Voldemort thing. Those are just many examples of my pettiness. Hey, Bente. Right. This, again, that is not a thing we're doing. I know Petros had played shite in the last game, but I feel like he's... Wait, what? Hang on. Where's he gone? Oh, he's there. Idiot. 
I know Booty has been a bit rough in the last few games, but I feel like he's still earned a chance. He's still earned his place in the team currently. Because we're running low on players now. I think it's the 4th of December. I'm good, Bento. How are you, my friend? The speak slower thing. Yeah, I kind of referenced that a little bit. in you know, the same system. In the skin video. But... All just kind of the same and boring and they complain and not like, oh, of course, yeah. But basically what they mean is do everything the way I want with stuff like that. And it's like, no. If everyone, as you say, if everyone followed that kind of crap, we'd all be making the exact same kind of content, right? Which skin it is, exclamation mark skin, and you will find the answer. I, I do speak, I would say I'm, I speak faster than average. Um, I, I hear it when I'm doing like, edits sometimes i'm like well, yeah you spoke quite fast there it's not a, it's not too bad when i'm just talking like this this is fine it's going good michael how are you my friend it's when i get into when i'm really into trying to explain something a skin vid command i don't think we really need to see i mean the, the video itself is it, the video is doing fine honestly it's better than fine i'm amazed I suspect as well, particularly if English isn't your first language, me speaking really quickly. When I'm talking like this, it's fine. But it's when I get to like... It's when I'm talking like this sort of speed. That's when it starts to get a little bit out of hand because I'm just sort of chaining words together and not many people can actually understand what I'm saying because I'm like... Oh, nicely done, Bento. That's sick. I feel like I would have been a good rapper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like... Not everyone's going to like everyone's content. That's fair, you know? I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that have seen my content and went like, mm, not for me. And that's fair, you know? Like, I I think there was a couple of comments on the skin video being like, I don't like this skin. And I'm just like, all right, <laughs> don't use it then. <laughs> like, what the... F oh my God, Robin, please. Talk super quick. I've tried to slow it down. A lot. One of the problems is when I script videos, it's easier to talk slow because I know what I'm going to say. But when I have to improvise a little bit, it becomes harder because then I have to. I'm more fluid then, and I tend to talk faster then. To Harry Mack is yeah, he's the freestyle guy. It's really awesome. Better one at your club. I'm, I hope there isn't, because otherwise we'll be in a bit of trouble if they are. This was a lovely pass by the way from um, Van Connecten, and just a lovely little open of the body from Steba to drop that one home. Rap God of the Alphabet Aerobics. I think I would struggle. I think with skins. I mean, I think with skins, like, if you find one you like, what's the harm in that, right? Not every skin's going to be working perfectly. I just find it strange when people will come. Like, I've seen a couple of people complain about it in the video. I'm just like, well, what do you want me to do? Like, don't use the skin then. Use a different one. <laughs> What SAS adds, it just adds so much cool stuff to the skin, especially the functionality updates with things like the um, the scouting options for me and also the sidebar, which I'm going to be using so much more later in the save. But like Stylosa, uh, not familiar with, unfortunately, no. Who's that? Context. Yeah, even the keeper was like, hold my beer. Oh, Petroso's in and it's two. That would have been a save last year every single time. It's 2-0. Petroso's got another one. This is good. Talking at twice the speed you're talking. In addition, she was talking in a dialect nobody in my class understood. What was the dialect now? <laughs> Keeper's just like, I've locked myself out, lads. What have you got for me? It's just a lovely finish. 2-0 to MDK. They're actually not a bad side either. We seem to have reverted back to old school MTK. The good one. Doing our business. And at the moment, incredibly Sparkers have now fallen out of the top two. It looks like Haladash are actually the ones to worry about. Oh, and Overwatch. Yeah, I've never really watched Overwatch. Has anyone heard XQC talking? A little bit, yeah. He speaks? No. Never heard it. He's a silent streamer, like how I was that time. That one time. Which we would never speak of again. Because it's a silence, you see. Uh, bad tricks for the game. Yeah, that, that was there from day one, uh, Mac the Run. You can download them from multiple different websites. The one I use personally for badges is T. CM because I find that they look nice and they provide a good selection. The reason I originally used TCM was because they had the biggest amount. Oh, 
Oh, that's a nice... I just like that little... Uh, just like the animation. He's not speaking. He's just aggressively Quebecois. He is, he is, he is Quebecois, right? Press it. Yeah, I was... I may have been silent, but the pettiness was extremely loud. Agreed. I was talking to Pog about this last night, about how I'll use moments like that as an opportunity to farm content rather than, like, getting it all bogged down. It's the same as when I was doing the interpretive dance to explain how a skin worked. There you go. Another beautiful recommend... Another beautiful review of Saz's skin. He'll be happy to hear that, Sam. Annunciation, yes. Um, I'm a bit... Oh, hang on. Palette Charles in again. Oh, it's a great goal. It's three. Come on. Martin Palantzar has done a good job coming in. I must say. For Bognar, he's done well. Towards Paranar squad, he's, I think we've got a six foot five dude. Uh, we've got, yeah, Futach. Marco Futach. The backup-ish, well, backup, backup striker is six five. So if we ever did want to try and flip things around and go proper Chaos Merchants, he's the guy I'd bring in. Booty's had a rare bad day. You know, this is a good opportunity for Omar to play a little bit. Um, because since the game's not down to the wire... Let's also get maybe Kovac on as well, since this game is... In fact, fuck it. Let's try something. Let's go Futach up top and switch to plan B and see what he can come up with. Since he is 6-5, I feel like the chaos with him up front actually could be quite uh, interesting. I feel like he'll win knock-ons a lot for Palantzar and the wide players. Or it'll just break us and we won't have a single chance for the rest of the game, which is looking much more likely. Yeah, I think he's the one that suits the role the most. We did try out Nemet there, but he just didn't seem to have that. We've literally not had a shot since I made that change. <laughs> now we're going to concede. Oh, over the bar. I think every single substitute I brought on there just did an appalling job. <laughs> Look at that. I make the change of the subs and not a single shot since then. But we were solid. That's what matters. Yeah, I believe there is a version of the skin that has the lap top... A laptop version of the skin that has the bookmark. It's, it's, I think it's actually called that. But I imagine because of the screen, it's just a little bit odd. Isn't quite right for any... Yeah, certainly in this team. I'm sure there's ways to get the most out of him. But we've got quite a few guys like that that just... It's because a lot of the best players at the club are not the youngest. And that's one of the few things... That's one of the things we're going to have to do over the first couple of seasons of this save. Is try to bring that average age of the squad down a little bit. Why does that keep reverting back to cards? Right. Any... 40 or plus. Ah, you just couldn't do it, could you? Couldn't let me have this. Uh, let's get rid of all of those guys. See if there's anyone in here that's vaguely interesting to us. Promise, we can't sign any of them. We have no money. Let's just look by recommended. Dean Campbell. Like, what good is this to me? Can't afford his way. Like, this is what I mean. A plus recommendation. Like, what, what, what possible purpose is there to this signing? Is this an agent one? No, it's not. There's no way that's an agent offer. Like, can't afford him because of his price range. We can't afford him because of his wages. He's on loan. It's just... That's why I can't stand about this new scouting method. It's utterly pointless. Some of, most of the players they bring to you are just completely... Useless. See, a Liverpool player. I believe he's... No, he's on loan from Aberdeen, actually. Yeah, we'll just look at Fanny's books. She will know the way. Scout doesn't care about money. Yeah, but this is what I mean. I was like, that's why this is utterly pointless. That's not how scouts function in real life. They're not like, hey, look, here's this. Otherwise, they'd just all recommend Lionel Messi every single time, wouldn't they? You know, it's baffling. Uh, World Cup, any surprises? It's in it the non... Oh, hang on. The World Cup hasn't happened yet. So... At least they got the correct groups, I think. Yeah, they do, which is good. But yeah, the World Cup actually hasn't happened in the save yet. Wait, hang on. Oh, it's about to happen. It literally has been happening. My bad. Uh, hilarity. I th if, imagine if that had said 1-0 over Ecuador. <laughs> they are actually qualifying at the moment in a group with the Netherlands in it. Who have failed to beat either Ecuador or Senegal. How are England getting? England currently third and second in their group. Uh... Wales beat England 4 0. <laughs> Japan winning the group with. Wow. 
Imagine Wales beating the Fauna. That would be funny, honestly. I would just be like, yep, you know what? Fair. Canada getting humped. Well, actually not humped, but struggling. Costa Rica getting humped. They've lost 3-0 and 4-0. Oofy. It's not a bad performance there from Boris Johnson of Wales there. An 8.65. Damn, Wales are going to win the World Cup. I swear I had a... Hang on, do I not have a... I swear I set up a screen flow for this. Ah, there must have been in the Dundee United save. Uh, World Cup. Stop game. Evening. Or match days. There we go. There we go. It's going good pocket, actually. We incredibly have turned it things on quite nicely. We're 10 points clear at the top of the league at the moment and absolutely smashing it, uh, despite having no one even close to the top scoring charts as things stand. Hey, Danny. Etta would not be pleased. No. Uh, oh, God, yeah. He probably should be playing more, honestly. But let's ask his agent this time. Why have you even got the opportunity to ask their agent? Like, what possible agent is going to be like, yeah, you know, my client's shit? Like, why is that even a thing? That, Yeah, that's pointless. That literally is so pointless. But we should just be able to do that, right? Oh, no. You're only a regular starter. Oh, God. Player dynamics are just some of the most god-awful... If they'd just come this year and said, hey, we've, we've actually fixed player dynamics, so now not every player is going to get pissed at you for not starting every minute of every single fucking game despite being a breakthrough prospect. Uh, Christian Gonzalez. Um? I'm not seeing him. Am I spelling his name wrong? That's true. When our strikers are constantly getting injured, it is hard to have the top scorer. Indonesian. Oh, this chap here. 46 years old. God damn. 4 23 caps as well. 46 years old. Worth a trial, right? Actually has played for them apparently as well. He, he does look slightly better than Ovalar. Yeah. <laughs> who wore it better? This chap or Fernando Ovalar who just looks the they look the same age. That's terrifying. Uh, wait, they accepted it? They actually accepted the trial. <laughs> Thinking tactic. Hang on. So, tactic. Squad playing time. So, now you've people. Hang on. I'm confused. Tactic. Where am I looking? Well, they're knackered. Let's just keep progressing. Yeah, old man's have a nice little holiday. A column. Oh, a column. Yeah, no, no. Sorry, just to clarify. My issue isn't that I don't know when players are unhappy with it. My issue is that they're fucking unhappy in the first place. My issue with it is that the game doesn't have any idea. Every single... Like, my, my, I've talked about this before. My biggest problem with the way that the game handles squad status is, is that they're all weighted too high towards the top. There's too many of them that demand too much football to the point where any reasonable player that you try to add to your squad is going to demand way more football than they can possibly get in a basic squad setup. And not only that, but it doesn't matter how many minutes they play. It only matters how many matches they start, which is utterly stupid. And it's stuff... Basically, it's stuff like that. And how if you have a star player in your team, they will demand to play in a non-league cup match Instead of a Champions League game at the weekend. Over when exactly. my sub was up. So I'll just have to up my sub from a tier 1 to a tier 2 as I have watched you for Holy one shit. year, 11 months, 4 weeks. Keep doing that you do and stay happy. Well, Less I'll than 3. Less than 3. Well, thank you, Saz. And thank you for the, the, two, the tier 2. That's so kind of you, my friend. You really don't have to do that. You've already contributed enough. You've got the skin. So we've got, Christ we've got a 46-year-old on trial. It's like... To me, okay, I know we've done this before, but like when you look in finance, because you can see the, the breakdown of them, right? Squad players will still expect to play 
when you go on a squad player, it will say something like, expects to play in most games. If that's the case, the fuck is a regular starter, important player, and star player supposed to do? What difference does it make? In the sense that, why is it that, to me, an important player is someone that would play in every match, or likely to play in every match. Regular starter, to me, is someone that should play in, like, 50 to 60% of the games. And a squad player, by very definition, is a player that is not expected to play most of the time, and is, like, a, a squad player that goes into the squad. But if you give a player a squad status of a squad player, they will literally say things like, "I where is it? I swear if you go into their profile, you can actually see. Um, that's regular. Look, regular starter, especially to start the majority of matches. You'd think that would mean above 50%, but it doesn't seem to mean that, does it? <laughs> to me, a majority of matches is 51%. But it's not, though, is it? In the happiness tab, it might be in the happiness tab, actually. Yeah, let me just find someone who's got that... Um, I want to find someone who's got the squad player status. Here we go, squad player. Competition for places and earn plenty of places. Like, that doesn't even mean anything. <laughs> competition, pl Providing competition for places does not mean you're playing. It feels like it's almost impossible to have players in your team that are just there to be in your squad and be backups. But if you... Yeah. It's, and I wouldn't care so much if it was based around better data and it was like the number of minutes they played mattered more than the number of games they start, you know? Football Manager fan, thank you so much for the follow. I don't know what went wrong. Is this really... Yeah, see, look, this is what I mean. One of these things is not like the others. What's happened to the poor man? Is it that rough in Paraguay? Jafinho. Wait, he's actually a real player. Holy shit, he is. Very hard paper round, indeed. I don't know about cocaine. That feels like like bath salts. Is Fernando Ovala the new Florida man? What's his name, though? Is it Jefferson? It had to be Jefferson, didn't it? You can't have a Brazilian with Jeff in his Brazilian name and not be called Jefferson, right? Jefferson Felipe Santos Silva. Not Da Silva, just Silva. All right. Throwing us a curveball there. I rate that. Oh, we're playing one of our affiliate sides next. God damn it. So who's coming back next? Panache and Medjis are coming back soon. And then obviously Bognar is going to be out till after Christmas. And then obviously Rios is dead. Little Jeff, yeah. Oh, good. And now Vardy's injured too. Good old little Jeff. So, Cap... Jeez. Qatar got out of the group. In a group with the Netherlands who drew all three matches. Wales qualified out of the group by winning all three. England did get out of the group. Uh, those games haven't happened yet. So, yeah. Those are the ones that have currently happened. Imagine... Ecuador and Qatar getting through in a group with Netherlands and Senegal. Like, I know that that's a very Dutch thing to do. Are Argentina mudded? Oh, God, they are, aren't they? They drew against both Poland and Mexico. They'll win against the Saudis, though. You'd think. Maybe this is a sign of things to come. Yeah. Little name. I suppose it would be little name, Argentina, wouldn't it? Yeah, so Mexico and Argentina are through, but only by a whisker there. They only beat Saudi Arabia 1-0. France and Denmark through. That's not hugely surprising. Uh, oh, look at this group here. S oh, that's sick. Switzerland, Serbia, Brazil, and Cameroon all tied on three points going into the final match day. That'd be lovely. No longer concerned about your tactical decisions. When did he ever... He's played 13 matches this season. Yeah, wh who the hell... We'll wait till it brings us back again. But who got... Who dicked on the Swiss? Presumably it was Brazil, right? Let's see. Is this like a... Might be a gap day. Or a gap yar, even. It's weird how this league hasn't got a break, by the way. We're just playing during the World Cup. Yeah, so Switzerland humped Cameroon 6-0. Samueletto is mudded. Spain and Jap Japan got out of a group with Germany. Germany are out of the World Cup. It's fine, though, because they came third in their group, so they go into the Europa Cup. So it's all good. Uh, they'll be very disappointed. Of, uh, can't win, can you? 
Oh, God, not again. Man is unhappy that I'm playing the goalkeeper in goal. <laughs> Standard. Futach. Uh, well, we're not going to talk to his agent because that's pointless. Okay, that's fine. Most of the time, that one does seem to work. Yes, yeah, they're dropping to the World Confederation Cup, basically. It's just them and Real Sociedad. Oh, okay, so we can see who got through. Uh, Switzerland didn't qualify. <laughs> Switzerland hump Cameroon 6-0, but still don't go through. Serbia win their group. Serbia beat Brazil. 3-2. Get in. Big up, Me I bet you Mitro. <laughs> got to be involved in that, right? How many goals has Mitro got? Two. I'll take it. Two is fine. Big up the big man. So who do they get in the next round? So Qatar got... <laughs> oh, come on, Wales. Sorry, to quote Robbie Savage, go on, Wales. That's good. Brazil, Portugal, Japan, Belgium. Serbia, Uruguay. Oh my god, some of these ties. England, Ecuador. De this would be a really sick second round if you exclude Qatar. We might get a kind of... Because look, like Argentina, France, Brazil, Portugal. A lot of big sides are getting knocked out here. This is where England lose to Qatar. How do you find a match? That's a good question, actually. Because they were in the Europa League, weren't they? And, I mean, I don't see the... Nope. Oh, no, that's uh, Fenerbahce, not French Farish. Ah, oh, they came... That means they're in the knockouts of the Conference League, though. They finished above Lech Poznan. They did win a game and drew three. That's more points. Which is a lot. That's very good. So they're going to play... Pauk. It's winnable. That's genuinely winnable. How are they doing on the old coefficients these days? What have we done this season? 4.375 on the year. But that would see them leapfrog Bulgaria, Romania, and Azerbaijan. So three points, three places gained in the first season would be a very nice start. I genuinely believe that Hungary will be top 20 before we even play a single European game. Which is going to give us a stupidly good start. I just think what happens when we can start loaning players to Ferenc Farish. Oh, he's actually a free agent. Oh, we'll take him on trial. We've already got that other guy on trial. What's his name? The uh, other chappy. Oh, overtaken. Are we getting overtaken? Shit, you're right. I think it's still a net gain of one. Because Slovakia and Poland go above us. But we would also move above Romania. So it's... Yeah, I think it's a net gain of one. Because we go above these three, but lose to the space of these two. Plus, there's still time to catch those guys yet. Ferenc Farris are still in Europe, after all. Can still get some. So are they probably? So does fix the German national team? I don't know. Honestly, I, I honestly I wish I could tell you, Jo, but I really don't know if it does or not. I guess one way to look would be to just look at the German national team now, wouldn't it? So why don't we do that now? I was hoping it would get off the screen quicker. There we go. I mean. That looks to me like a pretty realistic German national team. Kimmich, Rudiger, Chan, Kai Havertz, <laughs> Weigel, Tar. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Oh, it's the yeah, you're right. It's the deleting stuff from the folder that does it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I, unfortunately, I don't think he's going to be that good. For, particularly not if we get that other guy, potentially. Anyway, well, did we just lose a game? Well, I'll be damned. Wait, did I? Yeah, I'm just going to... No, wait. I'm sure we're on the right one there. There we go. Havertz is in. That's what I was thinking. England did get through. Only 2-1. And Denmark beat Mexico. And Brennan Johnson smashing it. Four goals for Wales. Uh, right, okay. Set up match. Get this team together. We should be... No. Just, just hard no. Panache is not quite ready yet, so more Petroso for us. Uh, more booty for us. Kata, Palancha again. Oh, because he's still injured, isn't he? I've enjoyed Olafunwa. His games have been a bit 
off sometimes, but I, I think he's good and he's versatile. We'll have Kovac on the bench, surely. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so they're one of our affiliate sides, and I believe they actually have a couple of loanees from us. Well, they certainly did. But we know that they can play against us, because if I recall, when we played them or the other um, affiliate side earlier this season, one of the guys we had on loan literally scored against us, which is perfect. Right. Um, I need another PP, even though we're going to be finishing in a bit. <laughs> but I still need a P, so I'll be back in a second, friends. Cristiano Ronaldo, solid shout there. Hard agree. Papa Booba, oh, rest, God rest his soul. What a guy, eh? What a player. Chicago Fire Deep just guy. Had a really nice pizza last night. Just, just. I mean, I've not had a bad pizza in all. Actually, that's not true. I had a shocking pizza last Sunday night. <laughs> Complete lie. Boom. Okay, this is. Oh, we can get. Oh, actually, I think they've got one of our players up front. Literally, their strike is it's Akko Swigaba, the guy that we were using at the start of the save. I loaned him to them because I figured that with the guy we were bringing in, he was going to get less game time. He's literally up front here for Becky Sharba. Um, this is probably going to go. He's going to score against us. I think we can all agree he's probably going to score against us. Shrug and Pizza, basically, um. I've told the story before about how that, there's that quite expensive pizza place that used to be really good. And then they had this weird habit where they would like burn the cheese on the top to the point where it would go like crusty and like weird. Like they have this weird like crust on it. And it was just tasted a bit like chemicals because it had been burned. It's a great goal. We already have the leave. But when it was good, it was really good. But last Sunday, I was when I was having an absolute walloper of a day, Pog was like, you know what? Let's order from the nice place. They've been better lately. Let's treat ourselves and maybe cheer you up. It didn't. It was woeful. It was late. Um, they fucked the pizza up, burned the whole thing to shit. We then complained about it. They brought another one out, which was also burnt to shit. Um, so never, ever ordering from them again. Uh, so it's part of the skin, Cool Rex, uh, which is lovely to have back in, isn't it? We could bring some... I was gonna be, I'm just going to be finding it cool. Because imagine how cool it would have been last year when we were playing against Dundalk. People like Rigel and... Um, oh, what was his name? Obradovich would be able to score against us. It would have been a good measure of how good the other teams actually were that we were making. So I think that's going to be a really fun fa aspect of this when we're, you know, 15 years down the line. Despite the good stuff, 70% oh, possession as well, though. And I see garlic bread. <laughs> I do love it. The only good thing about that pizza place is that the garlic bread, the garlic pizza bread they do is the best I've ever tasted. It's another beautiful goal for Zoltan Stieber. And once again, the cross from Van Echt from Van Genechten is just glorious. He's put in some unbelievable balls this season. Lose out the title. Hopefully they don't sack us. But it would be cool 
if we i feel like if it's going to be anyone it'll be ferenc varos they're going to be the guys that we're going to have to rely on them so much in europe to carry us a little bit some of the play we've been coming up with since we switched to the pass first approach has been seriously if you're struggling to make a tactic work for you don't change it just try pass first that the um uh dribble less Is it dribble less i can never remember the... yeah dribble less that and i think the rotating look again it's the wingers or the inside forwards in this case they are so damn important them constantly switching over is is a, is a game changer oh here we go breakaway opportunity it's three on three right what have we got here gotta wait for the right moment for the pass this is fine right there's the run drop him in oh glorious oh <laughs> lovely that right there was wonderful there's so many ways that that play oh it's been disallowed After all that, and that glorious goal gets disallowed. I was about to say, like, we did everything right there, but we didn't do everything right, sadly. Like, he held onto the ball. Oh, and now we're going to concede one of these, aren't we? <laughs> After all that, now this is going to be in. <laughs> it always is, isn't it? Was this their first shot on the target of the game by any chance? It's no backhill volley, is it? No, true. Hey, look. Imagine that. It's their first shot on target of the game. I feel like every game we're playing against Bader Meinhof. Ooh, booty. This Now, the keeper's... Oh, he's taking a step to his left. Squeeze it in, Regan. What a fucking free kick. A booty banger from Regan Booty. Number 69. Third goal of the... That is a... I love free kick off the crossbar. Look at that. That is a perler. Just perfectly in the top corner. In off the bar. It's even better when it goes in off the bar. Third goal of the year for Regan Booty. What a player. This is, I'm glad he's having a good game here because he's been a bit struggling of, as of late. We'd go 12 points clear at this. We could be 12 points clear at the top of the league. At like the halfway stage. That's mad. We really have stepped up. I feel like we'd be able to jump straight into the top flight next year and make a good top half challenge with the right signings. Maybe even a European push. Sissoko. It's 4-1. Petroso now with his seventh goal. We've got two really capable strikers. I, you're right. I think everything is better when it goes off the bar. It's true. This again was lovely football. The pass through from Kata. The lovely little touch from Sissoko. The fact that the keeper gets a touch on it as well and it just goes in anyway. It's going very, very well. Safan Harry. Super well. Like, better than I ever dreamed it could be first season, honestly. I thought we'd have a good squad and we'd be ready to do something, but I wasn't expecting this. Let's put Nemeth on for a bit. Like, he's complaining. So let's give him a little run. We can kind of rest this team a little bit. Booty out as well. Maybe get Meza in. Maybe get uh, Midnotsky as well. Dribble less is a game changer. With the way that the match engine currently is. We're only... This is the halfway stage. So this is the, fi the final game of the first half of the season. And we're currently, uh, hopefully, after this, going to be on 47 points. <laughs> So that would put us on for a 94-point season. Oh, nearly. But more importantly, it's not even the amount of points we've got. It's the fact that we would currently be 12 points clear. Because look how tight it's got behind us. Like, Spartacus have fallen massively back into the clutches of everybody else. And now we're just able to stretch our legs and fly. Stretch our legs and fly. Never, ever let me go anywhere near aeronautical engineering. That's all I can say. We're going to stretch our legs, chat, and fly. Huge goal difference. 13 points clear. There must have been a late goal. Yep. Wait, no. Was it Haladash? Did they concede a late one? Yes, they did. Seged. Doing us a huge favor there with a 90-second minute goal to give us a 13-point lead. There's Barkus for Idris. No, we can't be Icarus. We're flying a little bit too close to the shun. The shun? God damn it. Roll with the skin. It's got no bar on the left-hand side. Uh, that's bizarre. Um, not an issue I've come across. We do have a section of the Discord now for the skin specifically, so you could ask in there if Saz isn't around in chat. So France beat Argentina. Wales lost to Qatar. What the hell? They beat England 4-0 and then lost to Qatar. Let me guess. Penalty to Qatar. Oh, Wales got mugged. They're in the fucking quarterfinal. England, Denmark. Let's just 
We've got seven days till the next game anyway, so we can um, at least see what's going on in the World Cup for that. Yeah, a Nico goal is kind of good, but, you know, going out. I say good. I don't really care anymore, obviously, given that he's playing for Forest now, but... Oh, wait, hang on. Which Nico... Yeah, it was Nico Wheels, wasn't it? They'll probably beat France too, yeah. Half their players are French, aren't they? Outside the position. Wait, I really said I was going to play him as a right back, did I? Ah. As if Klopp's got time to talk to me. Come more friend. Oh, apparently Jurgen Klopp and I are friends. Take your advice on board. All right, cool. It's not going to happen. I really hate the that stuff. It's like, just let me play the player for crying out loud. Uh, uncertain future? Discussion issue with squad? Absolutely not. So, Serbia out to Uruguay. Spain beat Croatia. Harry Kane's now got four goals. Nikula. Uh, I'll do... Oh, wow. Look at the dribbling on him. That's going to not work in our tactic. <laughs> He's going to be wasted in our club. We want players that can't dribble. No dental anesthetic for you. Um... So England, Denmark, Qatar, Japan lose to Belgium, Brazil beat Portugal, standard. So England, Denmark, ooh, repeat of the Euros. Uruguay, Spain, there's still a chance for a really mad couple of games. Yeah, he'll be a great loan. I think there is like a, isn't there a setting where you could... That's what I was looking for, Chateau. That's what I was looking for. Excellent youth intake. Now, I've heard that these are way better this year. Two fullbacks, good. Defensive mid, lovely, we use that. A goalkeeper, imagine. An attacking mid, that's fine. Oh, well, the rest of them is not so good. That's good. Like, I, from what I've heard, people have been posting their youth intakes in chat, in the Discord, and so far they've actually lined up with their predictions. But watch me be the one poor sod that doesn't get his prediction right. No longer concerned about tactical decisions. Oh, God, re... Oh, here we go. Nonsense begins. That, can't you just play him or lose him? Yeah, that's the plan, you mugs. Oh, player dynamics. My least favorite part of the game. I don't know if I've been good enough. To, to be fair, the only, I mean, again, I, I showed you that guy that I got in one of my test database youth intakes, which he was three and a half star CA. <laughs> Legitimately was a starting goalkeeper at 15. He was ridiculous. Speaking of goalkeepers, actually, how's this chappy doing? Good reflexes. Good arrow. He's actually not bad. I might just try to... Hang on. Let's ask his agent so we get an idea of what we're looking for. Maybe next year. Oh, yeah. Fun sign. Right. Let's get to this game. And then I... What if... <gasps> chat. It could... Oh. England beat Denmark. When's the next game? They're on the 10th, right? We can at least see what happens in those games. I want to see what happens in the Qatar-France game. If we don't get... Yeah, we want to get Nwusu too, actually. Do you reckon once we're promoted... And I say once, because I feel like we should go up pretty comfortably this season. Do you think next year we'll be able to sign Nwusu? Because if we're a top-flight side. As long as we get in there quickly. No ED7 for you today. That wasn't using take. That was the... Uh, so, so it's England, Spain, France, Brazil. Okay, right. Let's quickly save that there. Cooper, take Debsio, off. thank you very much for the follow. Because I might be able to do something that I don't think I've ever actually been able to do, and that is Ray So normally Sunday streams will go till two, but I forgot about the F1 being on at one today. Um, but that way, at least we guaranteed ourselves at least three hours at the start. But most of the time, it will be always till three o'clock. Um, so I should actually be able to raid plates. Please don't tell me he's offline. He's not. <sighs> I'm going to be able to raid plates. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> He sent so many raids my way over the last two years. I'm finally going to get an opportunity to raid plates. <laughs> it's just, it feels nice to finally be able to send people back to him, you know? <laughs> oh, dear. No, seriously, though. Thank you so much for joining. You can only see me. How do you mean? <laughs> That's because I'm full screen. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, thank you so much for those gifted subs earlier. That was unbelievable. Um, super duper nice of you. Uh, if you have enjoyed today's stream and you're new to my content, then drop a follow. Normally, the streams are, well, on Saturday, on Sundays, obviously, but Tuesdays and Thursdays as well at 11 till 3. Sundays are 2. Nope. Sundays are 10 till 2. Uh, although today it's 10 till 
four minutes past one because F1 and whatnot. So we're going to go and send you lot over to the Crab Man. Uh, that sounds weird. He's doing Newcastle. I'm sure you'll have a lovely time. So I'll see you guys on Tuesday and it's going to be lovely. And I'll see you guys very soon. Yes. Uh, so thank you very much for joining me. Hold your gun. Capybara. Let's go say hello to the Clates. And do drop him a follow. He's great. If you don't already know that, you probably do. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.